Mike, five million dollars, uh, Mike. Five million dollars, Mike. You owe me five million. Thank you. Pay five million dollars, Mike. Enjoy paying that, won't you? <laughs> I am tight and ready. Damn, here we go. <sighs> what are you talking about? We're on the air. This is Ron. Absolutely. Get ready for the funniest damn prank call show there is. That's right, bitches. It's the Macron Show at macronshow.com. And if you don't like this, go and yourself. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me who you are? Who call me? No, give me a break. What are you calling about? Who are you anyway? What the hell is this? Who is this? Aren't you having fun? And now, your host, Macron. Macron. Yeah! Yay! Yay! It looks like the chat is working this week, thank God. Remember all the way back on last Monday's show, which was on Monday. 
when it didn't work. Hi everyone. Daddy Big Ron. See money. See money's making the song go already. Yay. Everyone it's good advice, C Money. That is correct. How are we all doing? Go donate. It appears to be the 24th of April, aka the 57th of October, on the metric calendar. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, let's let's see who's in Discord tonight. Wow, a lot of people are in. Belfast here, Doctor Charles down south, Dale from Zoom Security, Hazelnuts. Jack the Bomb, Carpal Tunnel, who's invisible again this week. Ronnie. Ray's here, everybody. Ray. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Karma's here. And Trainwreck. Trainwreck. Well, hello. Trainwreck, hello. I have something for you. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, it's Trainwreck time. Fuck you in the ass, fuck you in the ass, train wreck. Oh, fuck you in the ass, but we love you really, train wreck. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Ah. Ah. Thank you very much for that music. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, I've been waiting all day to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, show's over, everyone. All right. Good night. People. Show's over. Good night. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> that was the Trainwreck song show. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing, Trainwreck? Doing great. Doing great, my friend. And you? Good. Um, I got a lot of work to do this week, though. Oh yeah, I know why. It's my it's my busy week. Oh yeah. Did a you? A lot of preparation towards the Macron Fund 2.0. Oh, so much, so much. Well, I'm glad I got so many people helping me. Holy fuck! If these guys mm -hmm. weren't helping me, I'd be screwed over here. Did you all see the poster that I put on social media? It doesn't have the special guest on it yet because it's still not confirmed. A lot of people yeah, keep asking that. me, so uh, yeah, don't don't mention don't mention it yet. No worries. There's a there's a small chance we'll get confirmation during the show, in which case we'll have a big we'll have a big, big celebration. Reveal. Yeah. Or we hey, could. Ah, huh? what did it? What did he say? Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson's going to be on Carlson. here. Tucker Carlson. That's right. Tucker that, Carlson. That's right. He left. Fox t today. You got fired from Fox today. Was it? Let's let's get it. Yeah. Let's have it right. Oh, I really? think I, I think know. I don't know. I think he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't really care. Fuck that guy. He looks weird. Yeah, he's a mouth breeder. Looks like a face puppet. <laughs> <laughs> looks like he's got someone's hand up his ass controlling him. <laughs> he's made of plastic. <laughs> Don Lemon got fired. Wow. Remember all those people that had jobs on last year's Macronathon. On last year's Macronathon, what's his face? I've forgotten his name now, that guy that really hated me. Um, Which one? Elijah Schaefer, he had a job on the last Macronathon. Elijah Schaefer had a job. Tucker Carlson had a job. Don Lemon had a job. And uh, Mike Lindell was $5 million richer. <laughs> <laughs> well said, it's been, well said. There's a definite pattern there. There's a, yeah, there's a weird pattern mm. going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, what a year it's been. Remember last year? It was still okay to like Kanye West. And, uh, <laughs> That's true, and wear face masks. Wear a face mask was... Like, still face day -day. masks. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's all... World's gone to shit. World's That's gone true. to shit. Hell in a handbasket. Let's do the voicemails while everybody oh, gets yeah. in here. Everyone shows up late now because they just want to skip... Oh, God, there's a lot of voicemails. Ah, duh. Shit. Who do you think the first one's from? I think it's Dale. Dale. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Yes. Dale here with <laughs> yes. Ken Ho, formerly Trump War Room. Okay, first off, uh, there's been a little problem with the voicemails the past few weeks. And uh, I've got What's it that? on a good source that it's just that Ron had a large arthropod up his posterior. So, huh? hmm, go figure. What did I do now? Today we're going to discuss the proper use of you have something in your ass under consent of King by Ron Panice. Okay. And it goes as follows. Ignorance. Fuck if I know. Trouble. I guess I'm fucked now. Fraud. I got fucked at the used car lot. Aggression. Fuck you. Displeasure. What the fuck is going on here? Suspicion. What the fuck you doing? Enjoyment. 
I had a fucking great time. Request, get the fuck out of here. Hostility, I'm going to knock your fucking head off. Greeting, how the fuck are you? Apathy, who gives a fuck? Innovation, get a bigger fucking hammer. Surprise, fuck, you scared the shit out of me. Anxiety, today is really difficult. I'm fucked. Now, lastly, everyone knows what to do. Go to macronshow.com forward slash donate. Also, go to the store and check out the new T-shirts. Everybody should buy at least one. Ron, give them a link there, would you, buddy? Toodles. Uh, macronshow.com forward slash store. It's always easy to remember because it's just macronshow.com forward slash whatever you want. Donate, store, discord, join. Penis enlargement pills. Penis enlargement pills. <laughs> uh, we got another big voicemail. I, this looks like Trashman's number. It better not be fucking Trashman. I'm sick of this. Every fucking week. Hey, Macron, the uh, motherfucking Trashman. Yeah. Happy 35th of October. Right. On today is a beautiful Wednesday. Daddy Here we go. And last I actually had a dream where I was in some kind of like a civic center where people. I don't know, hold small events or do things and some shit. Okay. And you and Kathy, or Carpel, were actually, like, at a table setting up for the Macron show. <laughs> and I ran up to you. That was... You were a bit thinner, but it was you. Your head was still just as round. And uh, <laughs> I said... You really had to track me down. You couldn't just wait for me to leave a Rosie O'Donnell joke over the phone. You had to come to me and get it in person. And then that's how you knew that I was a trash man because I was talking about Rosie O'Donnell jokes and you started this laughing. This is disgraceful. Said, hey, trash man. And reached out your hand and we shook hands and I walked away and let you do your thing. So, yeah, you're, you're, uh, you're, you're now in people's dreams, Macron. You're weird. We knew that, uh, we knew that already. A lot, but yeah. You know what? <laughs> oil you need the darn cunt human hybrid cunt oil cunt get out of here cup. trash man get out get out I'm sick of his shit god well god you can describe do you remember uh, your dream sir yeah sometimes sometimes right sometimes I can just you influence your dream like manipulate them I never really tried you know hmm. most of my dreams are really uh, dark and fucked up <laughs> okay. they're, all, they're all about yelling at women no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Only on the show. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's why we you don't sleep in the same bed now. No, right? all the same house. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just been informed it was Jack the Bomb's birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Jack. Happy birthday. Her only wish was for everyone to go to Macron Show Live forward slash tip and leave a tip. Thank you, Mo Mopagos. Is that how I say your name? Happy birthday, Jack, anyway. Right. Let's get these damn voicemails out of the way, shall we? Who's this? Come on. Come on. Oh, hello, everyone. Cardinal. Cardinal. Here. Wishing everyone a great Mac on Monday. And just telling everyone, just join us this Friday for the 24 Mac on Number two. Hooray. Good day. Good day, Cardinal. Thanks for calling in. Good old Cardinal. Good old reliable Cardinal. Who the fuck's this? Hey, Macron. I seen, I seen a guy named Scoby McGuire, and he was docking with a guy named Trainwreck. And I repeat, docking. What? Do you know what that means? Anyways. Yeah, I do. Um, you were docking. Uh, Where was I docking? Uh, oh no, there he goes. <laughs> he always loses it. He always loses it every week. Uh, it's the D. You know who this is. Oh, uh, right. shit. Now, Mr. D, this is a big week for you. Now, since we on YouTube, I can't allegedly say what I'm going to do to you if you don't pay up all that money that you owe everybody. Yeah. See, I can't say things like, uh, I'm going to break dance with your legs. <laughs> or I can't say things like, I'm going to put you in a grave in the backyard 
if you don't <laughs> pay that money or I can't say other things like Dr. Charles is going to carve you up with a butter knife. I okay. can't say stuff like that, Mr. D, on YouTube. Uh. But guess what? That don't change nothing because you're still going to pay that money whether you want to or not, motherfucker. You got till Friday, the Mac Runathon, to cough up that bread. So you are Ray, you are Scobie, you are Macron, of course, you are Carpel, you are Ronnie, uh, let's see who else, Ray, uh, I don't know about train wreck, we'll have to get with him. And worst of all, you owe Dr. Charles a lot of money. So Mr. D, if you know what's best for you, you spend the rest of this week uh, getting your finances in order. It's all up to you, Mr. D. On what you do after this phone call, Mister D, Mister D, Mister D, I think he's serious. You better, you better come up with his money. Who's this? Wait, I'm on my way home. I'm on my way home. Go to watch the Macron show. Don't oh. start without me. Yeah, excuse. Let's get out of here. We can't watch the Macron show. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> okay, thank you. I guess. Oh no. Okay, it's Ragman again. I'm almost home. Ragman. I think I think I've eaten too much fiber or something. I was in and out of the toilet, like having a like little little bullish shits. Like they weren't even. Ragman, no, you're on the air. Like I did wipe, but like they might as well not because it didn't oh. make any mess. Uh, I was really scratched that. I got to wipe my ass. Jesus Christ, Ragman, that went out on the air, buddy. But thank you. Ragman made that awesome Macronathon poster you may have seen on social media. And if you haven't seen it, why aren't you on some kind of social media looking at it? And what's your problem? And why aren't you signed up for free email alerts? Because it went in the email. Yeah, yeah what's I your liked, problem? I like your new email. I like I like it a lot. Like, the format is really good. Ah, oh, that's Hazel. That's Hazel's work. She's good in, job on Hazel's part, then. She's in charge of that stuff. Really good job. Now. A lot of meetings cancelled tonight. <laughs> I wonder why. Brilliant. On like they put, they've put cancelled due to intruders, but on one of them they spelled intruders wrong. <laughs> Call them and make they, sure to tell them that they spelled it with an O. But yeah, a lot of meetings tonight have just been cancelled uh, due to due to alleged intruders. But let's let's see if any of them Daddy are active. Big, Ron, do, 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 do. Jeff's big, dirty sack sent twenty schmeckles for the Macronathon. Oh my God! Thank you. you Amazing work. Macronathon and Trainwreck Taint Reveal Fund. If you are the moderator, please. there are currently are. 17 other participants in the conference. My number is 209. You are now unmuted. 6974916. Six, oh, get out of here. Get the hell out of here. Wow, they really have cancelled most of them. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Belfast, you gotta let me know if the clutterers are doing anything or if there's any Zoom meetings. Welcome and thank you for choosing free conference call. The conference has been locked. Yep, Goodbye. look at that, look at that. They're just locking shit down. Yeah, they are bunkering down. Bunkering down. Yes, sir. Start meeting. Share you know what's better. coming for them. Please enter your yeah. wrath code the Macron follow. show. If you are the host, the host has not arrived yet. I'm gonna do what we did on the last Macronathon and make sure for 24 hours no meetings go undisturbed. <laughs> None. For the whole 24 no hours. Meeting tonight. You're calling our telephone meeting. You may enter the conference number. Follow if you are the moderator, you are currently the only... Hmm. Trainwreck, did you know we have our resident banchoed in the studio? A resident banchoed, my friend. What do you mean? We have a resident banchoed in the studio. I didn't know that. Banchod. <gasps> Banchod. There he is. What? <laughs> <laughs> Macronathon, Wheel of Misfortune. What do you think that's about? Daddy Big I don't know. Big sexy Daddy single calls. Oh. Is that a guy on Fiverr that you paid to do those lines or? No, he's the resident Banchod. Brandon like has subscribed on YouTube. What a smooth move. Uh, he would like to tell you about the Macronathon one more time, though. Go ahead. Hey, Ben Jodo, save the date for Macrothon 2. 
Friday, April 28th, 5 p.m. EST. Get ready for some pranks, some laughs, and more insanity for 24 hours ring, straight. Ring, you ring, heard ring, it right. Ring, ring, oh, ring, hold ring, on, we're going to call. Ring, ring. Hello. Hello, Michael. Hello, yes, can I help you? This is Ivan, sir, with Western Governors University. How are you doing? I'm doing real good, thank you. That's good to hear you. Welcome, sir. I see you showing interest here in our Bachelor of Science, Health Information Management. Do you have a couple minutes? Yes, sure. Okay, great. So I want to connect you to an enrollment counselor, sir, so they can answer any questions. Talk about scholarships or financial aid and maybe help in your next step. Is that okay? Yeah. And um, what, what was your name? I'm sorry. It's Ivan, sir. Okay. And uh, yeah, go ahead. Thank you very much. So let me place you on a brief hold on this recorded call while I get the enrollment counselor and I'll be right back to introduce you, okay? Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, what program? Ivan, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much. So let me. <laughs> Thank you very much. So let me. That Thank has you very the much. Consider didn't call because it's too important for that, you know. Thank you very much, it's Ivan, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much. So let me place I you on a those. brief hold on this recorded call while I get the enrollment counselor and I'll be right back to introduce you, okay? Thank you very much. Hello? It's Ivan, sir. Maybe we have a bad connection. What do you think, Banchod? 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 Hmm. I like it because he's saying, like, not very loud, like, Banchod. <laughs> what is your room number? We are sorry. The caller you're calling has fucked up phone or shitty internet. Please never call here again. <laughs> What's this? I'm not waiting for this guy. Fuck this guy. Fuck off. Carry on with your message, resident Banchoad. 24 hours straight. Send it to your sister, mother, and get ready for a 24 hour prankathon unlike anything. Let me repeat unlike anything you have ever experienced before. So listen up, Mother Chod. You better be there, okay, for our free 24-hour prank show on Macron YouTube channel. All we ask of you is to open up your filthy, dirty wallet and help us raise as much needed funds to keep our equipment and studio up to date so that we can keep providing you the quality entertainment like we are doing, right? Okay, so we look forward to seeing you all on Friday, April 28th. 5 p.m. EST to Saturday, April 29th, 5 p.m. EST for Macrathon 2. Join us as a paid supporter on Buy Me A Coffee only and only for $5 a month and get a little pre-show extra. So why don't you do that, cheap Gandu? Go, do it now. Join us. Everyone, I repeat, everyone is welcome except you, Karen. You don't deserve a fucking good weekend, okay? Everyone else? They're all invited. And join us on Macrothon 2, happening April 28th. Bye-bye, Gandu. Gandu. I love when he said, you cheap Gandu. You cheap Gandu. <laughs> Someone said, what time is that UK time? 10 p.m., the usual time that the show starts. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. UK time, Friday. You'd all better be here or else. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, should we check in with Jeff? He's not going to answer, but... Man. Jeff there is uh, sent me a clip of him coming out of hibernation he said oh that's right him. yeah yeah he did we can play a Jeff clip and get Jeff's message of the day that way yes uh, Jeff what's wrong oh he was there oh <laughs> yeah he's there live Jeff action let me see if I can play this clip uh, what's Jeff been doing lately hello yes can I help you yes it's this Oh wait, that's the wrong one. No, no, that's the wrong one. Is it this one? I'm sorry. You want me to send it to I'm you? I'm ready to check out. Oh, this one. Here we go. Here we go. Have a Mount Pleasant transport. Do your job there. Lick her. Lick my boots. That's your job. Mount Pleasant. Put <laughs> in your little credits and your little dialer. <laughs> your little funny things. <laughs> You're a fucking joke. You <laughs> pathetic maggot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. He's, he never lost it. He never lost it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Even in his grave, he's going to insult us. <clears throat> you hungry, train wreck? Do you want a little food before we start? Oh, yes, please. Okay. I'm in appetite. 
Let's get let's get some food for everyone. Very funky music going on. Why are they not answering? It's prime time for them to answer. They might be busy. <laughs> but not an excuse. No. After all, they know that we start at this time. Yeah, exactly. Well, no foo for you then. <laughs> and no yeah. order for them. Really sorry, buddy. Got a whole bunch of crazy uh, Banchoed hotels from the last week. We really, we got some real, uh, some real crazy fuckers in the last week or some so. Some real winners, would you say? Some real winners, that's right. <laughs> Blue Storm Motor, how can I help you? Hey, you have any room available? Yes. Okay, uh, any room with no gandu? Huh? No gandu, you banchod. What do you say? <laughs> ah! He was on fire earlier last week. Really? Oh. Mm. He lost all his fire. Lost his spirit. Yeah. Lost his balls. <laughs> Hello, Swiss. Hey, Banchod. Hello. Hi, Banchod. Hello. How you doing, Banchodu? Hello. 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 Can you speak louder? Benchod? Yeah, I can speak louder. Mani Bosri ma gal de tari Benchod chuda wa phone karayi hu em pusu. That all right for you? You like that? Bloody idiot. You get that one. Oh god, they're calling back. Train wreck, you answer and pretend to be me. All right. Ring 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 ring. Yes, hello. Hey, Rano? No, this is Train. How, how can I help you? This is not Rano Kotrin. Hey, Rano? Yeah? Hey, He's Rano? What do, you, what do you want to tell him? He's hearing you right now. Hey, Rano? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Did I fucked up? No, no, no. It's just that stupid university guy. I wanted to get rid of him anyway. Okay, okay. Just trying to get rid of him. <laughs> Trainwreck, talk to this fucking crazy woman. All right. This woman's fucking nuts. It's a hotel, but she's fucking... Okay. She's mental. It's a hotel! It's a hotel! How can I help you? Oh, but yet my will help you. Hello, can I book a room, please, lovely lady? What? Can I book a room, please? You any time come in, okay? Yes, I would like to make a reservation, please. Is that all right? No, 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 DJ, certain. No, sir. you stupid no. bitch. You fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, she, I thought she would be, be angry. Oh. Daddy big Sorry about that. What? Daddy big this is a motel. <laughs> uh, may I help you? <laughs> what the Daddy fuck was her problem? I don't know. She's fucking crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? Stop it. Ah, all right. You gonna do a little little business? You gonna do a little bit of work there, train wreck? It's time for business, my friend. Yeah. I think it's time. It's business time. All right, here we go. Uh, let's get the freshest fresh meat in here. Look at that one with the melted shed doors. <laughs> when was that? Oh fuck! Belfast got that today. This that was earlier today. We need a phone up. Yeah, I'm gonna do that one first. This lady brought a craftsman shed from Lowe's and it's basically melted in the sun. Like the doors are just like melted off in the sun. Uh, Where does she live? I don't know, but she's got the wrong kind of- I was talking about something else, some heat or something. Yeah, they've had a fucking barbecue near that or something. I, ref um. I refuse to believe that the April sun did that, you know? Show me the picture. 
Uh, picture? Yeah. Well, up in chat, lazy ass. I I am. I'll show you. Well, I'll show you. Top. It's all right, Trey. Mike. I got oh, on top, on top. All right, all right. There you go. I got. I, I just posted it again Thank for you. you. Oh shit! Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> who, who did the rim shot? That wasn't me. That wasn't me. That really? Time. I thought it was you. No, some. <laughs> oh, it's Franny. Oh wait a sec. Are you using the new? There's, yeah. there's fucking there's soundboards in Discord now, isn't there? Yeah, even though they are muted, even though they are muted, they can do the sound. I like, <laughs> I like the way the air horn, the air horn is one of the default ones. Like they, they already knew what I was in here. The world is this? What in the world is this? <laughs> okay, I like it. Discord has soundboards now. Very good. Oh, that's gonna be dangerous come Friday. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. yeah, yeah. Oh god. All right, go. I just discovered that. Here we go. Here we go. There's Thanks for no way of telling who did it. Thanks for yeah. telling it. Thanks for telling everyone. That's great. Oh, okay. you can't tell it lights up, Ray. Oh, your, okay. cir your circle lights up, idiot. All right, I'm going to I'm going to deal with this melted oh. shed business. You guys calm down. Calm down over there in the studio. Hello. Hi, Nicole. My name is uh, Ron Cochran. I'm calling from the Corporate Liaison Team with Lowe's. Yes. Uh, reason for the call, I was actually alerted to your uh, file by my social media team. I understand you reached out to them with a problem? Yes. Um, so tell me what happened. Um, the Craftsman shed I bought two years ago has like... It, it's an outdoor shed, but it's melted being outside, and I'm told by the company, it's a craftsman, that it's not covered under the warranty. Like, I can't even lock the doors. I have a pole in between the door handles to keep it closed. Yes, yeah. I mean, I've seen the uh, the picture that you've sent over. Um, I've actually had some of our uh, science team over at Lowe's just analyze the picture for the, the type of damage that was caused. Um, so what happened? Did you put your grill too close to the shed? No, it wasn't. It's just my grill is nowhere near it. It's just from being outside. And they said the sun reflected off of something. But like, how is that not covered? And how does that happen if it's an outdoor shed? Well, like my grill nowhere near it. I mean, yeah, I have checked the manufacturer's specifications, and there's no way that in normal sunlight it would uh, warp to that degree and kind of see right. what's so, happened. Like, um, I don't know why they're not honoring a warranty. Well, the thing is, you can also clearly see in the picture that there's smoke and fire damage to the glass windows. But it, it was not near any fire or smoke. Right, but you understand that the smoke can't just appear there if there's no smoke. There's, right, there's so no I, smoke. I there's know. no smoke without fire, as they say. But you can clearly see from the glass that there is soot and residue on there, probably from a grill. My grill is in a completely different part of the yard than that is. Right, but the problem is you can see the smoke damage on the windows, can't you? There, there was no smoke, there was no fire, there was no nothing. Right, but, I mean, you, you do understand that it can't just appear there by itself. Well, it had to have then because there was, there's, there's no fire near there. So you're saying that the smoke damage and the soot just appeared on there? There is no smoke damage or soot. I mean, you can see it on the, on the windows, on the, on the glass. I mean, it's, it's very kind of evident on there, you know? I don't know how that would be there because there has been no fire. It hasn't been near a grill. Right, so I, but I, you can see... I don't know how it would, see it there. would be smoke and soot. There's not been anywhere near a fire. But if you look... You, there, there was smoke, there was fire. There was smoke, there was fire? There, no. There was smoke, there was fire. Yeah, because if you look at if you look at the picture, if you zoom in on the window, you can you can quite literally see smoke damage. Do you see that on on your picture? I don't know how that could have gotten there because there has been no fire. Right, there has been but no it's smoke. you can see it in the this is in ridiculous. the. There there was smoke. There was fire. Right, right. That's probably what caused the problem. If there was smoke and there was fire, that's 
It's not designed to withstand fire because it's made of plastic. There, there was no fire, and I don't know what what this recorded voice or other voice getting on there saying that there was smoke and fire because there was not. No, that that was that was your voice. No, huh? that voice was saying that there was smoke and fire, and there was not. So you all must be altering something because there was absolutely no fire. But you can no see it. Smoke. You can see the smoke damage though on the picture. There, 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 was, there was smoke. There was fire. Right. If there was smoke and fire, that's what I'm saying. The heat from the fire is is what caused the there plastic was to melt. None. There was no smoke. There was no fire. So I don't huh? know why you have my voice saying that there is. No, that you, is ridiculous. You said that there was. No, there's not. Huh? I am not saying that there was. I said there was not. No. Okay, well, ju- just for the purposes of the recording, just confirm for me. Was there smoke? Was there fire? There, no. There, there was smoke. There was fire. Right. No, you guys are putting my voice in there saying stuff that I am not saying. Huh. Look, I mean, I, I don't know where else to go with this, ma'am, other than I could try and get a supervisor, but if there was smoke and fire, then they're only going to tell you the same thing. There was no smoke. There was no fire. Absolutely not. Right. I, I mean, I'm conf- I'm not sure what to do here, ma'am. I can get a supervisor for you if you want to escalate this, but... Oh, yes, most definitely, because I did not say anywhere that there was smoke or fire. There absolutely was not. But you just told me there was. No, I said there was not. Huh? No. There, there was smoke. There was fire. Right. No. No, well, I did not say those words. Absolutely not. But that's your voice. You're doing something to cut out words because there was not smoke. There was not fire. Oh, my gosh. I... I... Ma'am, I'm going to have to see if there's a supervisor available, okay? Yes, do that. Okay, one moment. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Hello, uh, ma'am. <clears throat> Just transferring you to my supervisor now. Uh, sure. Give me one moment. I think she's... Oh. Wait. Uh, Lowe's, how may I help you? Hi, Hazel. I've just got a customer for you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Hi. Hello. Um, I was called because I made a complaint on social media about my craftsman shed that has melted outside and... I'm trying to tell the gentleman that there was no smoke or fire damage, and he has my voice recorded saying that I'm saying there was. So I don't know what's going on, but there absolutely was not. That's really strange. What do you mean he had your voice recorded? Well, I guess when he's on this call now, he's, like, recording it, 
and he's saying that I'm saying that there was smoke and fire damage to my shed, but I'm not agreeing to that. There was not. There was no grill or anything near the shed. There, there was smoke. There was okay. fire. Well, what can you can you tell me what happened? Um, what what is the nature of the call in the first place? Um, this gentleman reached out to me because I posted I am uh, dissatisfied with my craftsman shed that I purchased at Lowe's two years ago. That I've been fighting this ongoing issue that the front of it is like warped or melted from the outside elements. Okay. And I'm told that. Oh, no, our warranty doesn't cover that. Like, it's an outdoor shed. That shouldn't happen being outdoors. And no, I don't have a grill or anything near it. Oh, okay. I'm just looking at the notes. So so may I ask you how it got the smoke and the the fire and the marks all over it then, if there's no fire near it? That's from it melting in the sun. The sun must be reflecting off uh, something outside that this is happening. I have no fire source near it. Okay. Do you know if you live on a scheduled S74A property, which has radiation? I would, I don't know. But I, I think you do. I, I think you live on a property with radiation on it. No, I, I don't think I would live on a property with radiation. Well, it's coming from the ground up because we see the top of the shed seems to be undamaged, but the, but the, uh, you know, it needs to be 185 degrees for the plastic to melt. And it looks like there's some radon gas coming through your property, ma'am. Did you know that? It's on a foundation. None of my other sheds have done this. Yes, but this shed's made of a different material. This This is made of... ridiculous. Well, how many sheds do you have? I have the bigger one, which is in the picture, and I have a smaller one next to it. Well, that would probably explain why, because the smaller ones. Do you do you have? Is there? Do you live in an area with like homeless people or anything who might get near it in the evening? Yeah. No. Oh, you do. Okay, do you no, think they might be, like, so putting I bonfires, etc.? You're keeping my voices for things. I'm sorry? I do not have homeless people living out in my yard. So I don't know why okay. you have my voice saying, yes, I'm I just, don't have a grill. Or uh, I'm just asking the questions because this would not be the first time that this has happened. This is getting ridiculous. Okay. I'm just going to go through a couple questions for you. It's not, it wouldn't be any kids or anything or like people in your area who cook meth or anything like that. No. Yes. Okay. Cause sometimes that happens. Um, so, you know, we, we do sell at Lowe's a craftsman variety of a fence that you could put around the shed to keep the people away from it. Can I interest you in that? Yes. No. Yes. Yes? Okay, would you like me to send you some links? I'd be happy to to give you a small discount for your trouble, too. So that sounds like an excellent solution. No! I am not agreeing to that! Yes, yes, yes. There's no... (laughs) (laughs) Call her back, try again. (laughs) I'll call back and try... Let me me try going again. (laughs) <laughs> I think we broke up. Look at that it's, shed, it's though. It's exactly clearly right it's clearly burned, though. Look. Yeah. It's the chlorine in the pool. <laughs> Tell her that. Hello? Hi there, ma'am. It's uh, Ron with the Lowe's Corporate Liaison Information Team. I saw that you terminated the call with the supervisor, and I just wanted to check that you got everything situated. No, nothing is situated, but you all are recording the call and then using my voice to answer questions that I'm not agreeing to. Ma'am, I, I, I don't think that's possible. Yes, it is, and I will be contacting my lawyer. <laughs> did you, oh, did you hear how she sounded out of breath? <laughs> I will call my lawyer. I'll call it her again. 
Yeah. This isn't over. It's kind of low, guys. Look at that shed, though. It's clearly burned. Yeah, you can see the soot. That's... Hello? Hi there, ma'am. It's Ron with the Lowe's Corporate Liaison Information Team. I'm sorry the line got terminated there by accident. Um... If you still wish to escalate this, I can get you through to another supervisor. I'm not sure what, what was happening with the phone. Maybe you've got some echo going on or something like that. I'm not answering any of your questions anymore because you guys are recording this call and using me to agree to questions that I'm not agreeing to. We're, we're not ridiculous. We're not here to ask I you any questions, ma'am. I would, I would just like to try and make some gesture to help with the situation. There's no helping with this. If you're telling me that I'm saying there was smoke and fire and there wasn't, or that there's homeless people living out in my yard and there's not, or that there's radiation and there is not. This happened from just being outside. Ma'am, ma'am, look, we really would like to do something to help. We don't want to leave the situation with you being unhappy. Um, would, would you like me to see if I have one of the other supervisors available? Whatever. Well, we, we really would like to help, ma'am. Nobody's making any accusations. We just want things to be put right for you. Um, let me see who I've got. I've probably got one of the senior managers available. Would you be able to hold for just 30 seconds while I patch them in? Sure. Okay, bear with me, ma'am. And I'm so sorry about the inconvenience. One moment. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Thank you for holding. You're through speaking to Scobie, supervisor of Lowe's. Who am I speaking to? Nicole. How are we doing today, Nicole? Oh, well, I'm very upset right now. I'm very disappointed to hear that. Uh, let me go ahead and get this situation fixed for you here. Uh, I understand. I'm looking at some notes here that there is an issue with a shed that was purchased. Was it, let's see, two years ago? Does that sound right? Yes. Okay, and ma'am, what exactly happened to that shed? Well, within the first year, it started to, like, melt on the front from being outside. It's on a foundation that my neighbor built for it. He has the same kind of shed, same kind of foundation. His shed didn't do this. And there, there's been no fire near it. There's been no fire damage to it. There, do you roughly know what there, month that damage took place i i honestly don't know it's been over a year i've been trying to resolve this and i've gotten nowhere and like for the price i paid this is ridiculous that so your neighbor said and, and, and they're saying it's not under warranty well maybe maybe i can help you out there i'm just trying to gather some details so let me just go ahead and get this straight your neighbor's shed did not melt however yours did yes how do you think that happened? I don't there, know. There, there was smoke. There was fire. No, there wasn't. I don't know why there's my voice saying that. Ma'am, I, I have a couple <laughs> here questions for you. I'm going to get this situation resolved, okay? So I ask that you, you just a little bit. There was smoke <laughs> I mean, really, right now. So just go ahead, ma'am. Take a deep breath. We're going to get this figured out, all right? So the sh how many sheds do you have? I have the one seven by seven one that is the product in question. And I have a smaller one. I don't know the size of it. It's small. I've had it for is years. One and black? Years and it, 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 it's happened to it. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look here. Unbelievable. Uh, I'm just... Can't quite figure out how how there's so much damage here. Uh, 
Why do you think it melted? What do you think happened exactly? There, I don't there know. was it's smoke. There was fire. There was there smoke and fire in several times? Did it happen just overnight? I mean, how did the smoke and it, fire come about? There was no smoke and fire. There, there, there was smoke. There was fire. Yes, Ma'am, have you had your medication today? <laughs> Sweetheart? Yes. No, why is you here? Yes. I understand that you, do you have any pets? I yes. have a cat. Do you think maybe the cat piss could have possibly did this? Yes. No! Yes. Oh, no. Was it possible? I'm not talking to you people anymore. <laughs> could it have been your urine, ma'am? Yes. <laughs> Jesus All right, Christ. She's crazy not there, guys. Let, let's call her and make her know that she's, that's a prank. All right. She's not All right, there. Yeah, I'll, ugly, you know? I'll, t- <laughs> I'll tell her it was a prank. Let's clear it. <laughs> don't tell it was a prank. Oh, oh, come, on. Shit, come on, she's shit. not I there. I can't come to the phone. She oh, no, she's fucking done now. I'll leave her a message. I'll leave her a message. Hold on. Hi, this is Nicole. Let me leave her a message. All right, leave go to worse. I think Trainwreck should <laughs> leave the up, message. Trainwreck. Let Trainwreck leave. Trainwreck, fuck shit up. Hi, this is Nicole. I can't come to the phone right Let now. Let her go to voicemail. <laughs> Everyone shut up. I, I know what you're going to do, you evil bastard. Yeah, me too. At I the know. tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. There, there was smoke. There was fire. <laughs> Jeez. I knew, I didn't that one I knew he was gonna do that too. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. I didn't know I didn't know it turned into let's prank everybody and then call them back and say we sorry show. Why Train why wrong. did you, why did she mention that the neighbor bought the same shed and his didn't melt? Did he have different sunshine for the last two years or something? Oh, like god no. the f- a fucking <laughs> You can see the smoke damage on it though. That's the thing. If you zoom in on the picture right yeah. look look at those windows you can't even see through them on the original one those are like clear plastic windows they've got smoke on them there's like well, if well the neighbor didn't put a barbecue next to it yeah if you look if you look you can see soot marks like this we should call her back and tell that the and neighbor discussing that bitch move on to the next one shut up fucking yeah, call yeah that fucking well, call 20 times <laughs> move on what Go take your medicine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, calm down. Yeah, we'll leave her alone now. She's uh, she, she fucking what dumber. Let her recover. Fuck her though. She was. She's yeah. definitely trying to scam them. She's burned the shed with the grill, and now yeah. she wants a free shed. That's what happened. Yeah, she but probably broke it. It's just done. We got another one with uh. Right here we go. Nordstrom rack. Is that just part of Nord Nordstrom? Yeah, it's where they send all like the sales stuff. I think it's like an outlet for Nordstrom or some shit. Uh, okay. All Tell right. the bitch gotta fucking suck there out of the mattress and put it back. I received a mattress pad and it's clearly defective. Memory, so it's like a memory foam mattress, and I don't, yeah. I don't think she's let it settle for long enough. But yeah, did they shit fat. on it or something? Yeah. <laughs> Sit on it. I'll accuse them of shitting on it. That'll be, that'll be fine. <laughs> the fuck! I thought they picked her. Then. Was, it's like they got cat yeah. in the background. Yeah, yeah, that's Ninja. Oh, Ninja! Hi, Ninja. Ninja is a good cat. Yes, he is. Come on, people, pick up. How can I provide quality service and make you cry if you don't pick Your up? Your call has been forwarded to an audio. Womp, 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 womp. Your call has been forwarded. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. 
The service you are attempting to use. Ah, uh, do you hear that? Do you hear that? We need our own noise for that. We are sorry. The caller you're calling has fucked up phone or shitty internet. Please never call here again. Thanks. Never call here again. Thanks, Banchoed. Ah, uh, right. Where are we up to? I get so confused when the numbers are in here. We've done Melted Shed. That lady with the mattress won't be helped. What we got going on here? Allegiant. That's the airline, right? Allegiant airline, yes. Allegiant Airlines. Sounds terrible. Sounds like a budget airline. Yes, it is. Alright, what's your problem? Had a flight delay, didn't get enough information. No fly list for you. <gasps> yeah, get out of here. Fly list. Hi, you've reached my voicemail. Please leave me a detailed message and I'll return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Hmm. That doesn't sound like he's called James. Hmm. 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 Let's try the other one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happened? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. What in the world is this? No, no. Wah, 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 wah. Epic fail, train wreck. Epic fail. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking soundboard. Do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way the, the duck just keeps coming up. Quiet, Doug. Qu quiet, quiet, all right. We have an AT&T complaint here. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna derail the show with that stupid invention of soundboard. Yeah. Uh... What's, what, who's the next complainer? Uh, this guy's called Lloyd. Ooh. He already sounds like a pompous prick to me. Yes. Fucking Lloyd. Oh, hello, I'm Lloyd. Ah! Oh, hello, Lloyd. <laughs> there we go again. Oh, fucking... Why did, why did they invent this? Why did they do this to me? <laughs> they inflicted that on us. Lloyd. 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 Damn you. Are you shaking your fist in the air? I as am now. That? Lloyd. Uh, Damn you. Your call has been forwarded. Uh, 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 uh. Maynard's just pointed out we don't have enough likes. We don't have enough likes, we don't have enough tips. Mm. You know what can happen. Some technical difficulties. That's what will happen. You predicted it. Your call has been forwarded God to God damn it, right, that's it. Fuck this shit. Sick of this shit. We need more likes, we need more tips. Right now. God damn it. What in Fuck. the world is this? What in the world is this?
calm down a little bit now, okay? Okay. Are you okay, Trainwreck? I am now correct. I'm Good. okay now. <laughs> Good. I know you got a little bit angry about the likes and the tips. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I do. Yeah. I have to control myself. It's hard to control the rage. Yeah. When they don't hit the like button. Yeah. Bastards. Why don't, why don't they hit the like button? Daddy big Ron Ragman did a tip. Thank God. He said you all need to fucking donate. You will never see me draw Jeff getting punched in the back of the head. Oh, you that's it. Do it. Donate. If you don't, you will never see me. Uh, the the this head. guy's got some kind of problem with his Ford. Welcome to Verizon ah! Wireless. The number you dialed ah! has been changed, disconnected, or is no longer in. <laughs> meh, 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 meh. What about this number, though? What about this one? Is the problem that it's a Ford? Maybe. <laughs> Daddy big Ron do 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 Joho, thank you. There we go, that's how you do it, guys. We don't want no more technical difficulties in here. Hello? Hi, Frank. This is Ron calling from the Corporal Liaison team with Ford. How are you doing? Uh, good. You actually have his brother. I think you got the wrong number. Oh, my gosh. For some reason, we have this number on file. Um, do you have a number I could reach him on, please? Daddy big run, do 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 I'm sorry to disturb you. Anyway, I'll go give him a call now. Thank you. No problem. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. All right. I don't know just so he got his brother's number. <laughs> nice. Oh well. You sold your brother for just a moment of peace. <laughs> <laughs> sold out his own brother. You heard it. He was so quick. Buckled like Hello. a. Hi there. Uh, it's Ron calling from the corporate liaison team with Ford. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm great, thanks. Reason for the call, I was actually alerted to your file by my social media team. I understand you reached out to them with a complaint? Uh, more of a concern for resolution than a complaint. Well, a complaint is a concern for resolution, but uh, go ahead, tell <laughs> me what happened. Um, so I had taken my vehicle in about three weeks ago. Um, they diagnosed it within 24 hours that it needed a full transmission replacement. Okay. Uh, submitted the paperwork to customer care, and um, the customer service care team has been excellent. Uh, they put in a business case for a a replacement for the transmission, and it has now paid, it has now been three weeks. Uh, I she follows up with me every day, but says there's nothing she can do until management signs off on it. This is a Ford customer care, but now I've been without a vehicle now for three weeks, and. She she claims she can't get any additional information from where she sits uh, within the organization. Okay, so I'm sorry, just so I got the notes right here. How long have you been without the vehicle? Three weeks. Okay, um, just reading some notes here, and it's a full transmission replacement that you're waiting for. Is that correct? That is correct, and the dealer has said they have the parts and are ready to do the work. They are just waiting on Ford customer care. Daddy big Ron do 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 Daddy big Ron do 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 Daddy big Ron do 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 Daddy big Ron do 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 Well, the good news is it looks like the replacement has been authorized. I'm seeing that here on my system. That that came through earlier this morning, actually. And she just emailed me um, about 20 minutes ago and said there has been no update to my file. Huh. As of 20 minutes ago. It's possible the lady in customer service isn't privy to the same information I have here at corporate, but um, what I'd like to do, um, just to make absolutely certain, is call the shop where the vehicle is because they will be the ones, they, will, they are the ones that okay. need to receive the notification to go ahead with the, uh, uh, with the work. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, if, if you can just hold the line for a moment, I'm going to call up the shop and uh, just make sure they've received that notification and try and get some kind of uh, ETA. Are you okay to hold for a moment while I do that? 
Uh, yes, thank you. Perfect. One moment. Here's through, Scobie. Hi, Scobie. It's Ron over at Corporate. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing well. What's going on? Um, can I give you an internal reference number for a vehicle that you have down there? Yeah, go ahead. What, what's the number? Uh, so the internal tracking number is going to be 8008-5420. I've got the customer on the line. Sir, can you just confirm the make and model and the color of the vehicle for me? The gray 2018 F-150, 3.5 liter V6. Okay, so it's a, a gray 2018 F-150. And now yeah. I do not have a weapon pointed to my head. Yeah, this is all there was uh, an the incident tonight. with that vehicle. We're going to need a little bit more time. Um, just let the customer know that I'll have someone reach out to him Um that truck's fucked up right now, Ron. Uh, oh, what What do you mean? We're going to need three, four more weeks here. Uh, it fell off our lift. It's 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 pretty fucked right now. Oh, I just ju just just watch the just language, the Mr. Scobie. I, I know the, cu the, the customer's on the line with me. The customer's on the line. I think he can. Sir, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Okay, yeah, th this is the customer, Scobie, if you want to talk to him. Um, just uh, Sotero had Sotero had mentioned on Friday that the transmission was in, and it was, they were, he was ready to do the work. Yeah, the transmission it was repaired, as far as I understand. Um, I took the truck out a few times just just to kind of drive around in it with my one of my gals, and um, I have the truck. Currently. I, I, what's that? I have the truck in my possession. Oh, you I, mean you have the truck? I thought you'd said the truck was in the shop. Yeah, the, sh the truck had been in the shop. I picked it up late last week because I still didn't have a vehicle. Oh, three weeks did you give me the right resolution? Nope. Oh, no. Wait, have you, uh, that should be listed as a gray 2018 F-150. Is that what you're seeing there? You may have the wrong tracking number there, Scobie. Give me the number one more time. Eight. The internal. This is the internal number, not the customer's number. It's eight zero zero eight five four two zero six nine. Okay. Give me a second. So, did you say the transmission is now in? Have you got? Have you got a tranny there for, for that vehicle? Sir, can we get you down here uh, ASAP? Uh, what, what, what do you mean? I'm sorry. Down here. Down here at the shop. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can drop the truck off tomorrow if it's ready to be repaired, if it's ready to be replaced. Uh, you say tomorrow? I can drop it off tonight. Yeah, I can you can't drop do it, it off tonight. Can you do it within the next hour? I cannot do it within the next hour, but I can do it tonight. Drop the keys off. Okay, perfect. Um, Is the work ready to begin, and you have everything you need from Ford to cover the replacement? Correct. From what I'm showing here, you should be good to go. Okay, uh, then I will drop the truck off tonight, and then I guess... There's going to be a call to care team, though, it looks like $1,000... I'm, I'm sorry. Will you have that handy? There's a small deductible. Sir, I, I didn't hear. I didn't hear anybody. I didn't hear anything. Sorry. There's a deductible of a thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, the Ford customer care team has said a replacement has been authorized. Yeah, replacement has been authorized, but there is a deductible that you will have to pay directly to the shop when you uh, when you drop the vehicle off. 
Okay, I have to pay it upon drop off or upon completion of work. Uh, when do you normally take the deductible there, Scobie? Drop off. A drop off, okay. Okay, I wasn't made aware of that anywhere in the process, but. Well, I'm making you aware right now. I'm sorry. Please, please watch your tone. I'm just trying to figure out how Whoa. I owe you a thousand dollars. Patient as I can with you. You're gonna bring the thousand dollars, or I'm gonna go ahead and get my job done. <laughs> Is this a joke? What are you talking about? Is something funny? You got something to say, buddy? I'm sorry. Is anyone recording this situation? Uh, yes, all, all calls are recorded for training and quality purposes. Don't worry about that. Okay. Well, please have someone escalate it to me, and I will uh, Recording have deleted. Reach out. No, it's not going to be spoken to like that. Thank you. Well, sir, what's the problem here? What, do you want to get the vehicle fixed or not? What? <laughs> Ah, Carl was fucked. He didn't like that at all. I'm gonna reach out, see if, uh... Hazel, do you want to talk to this dickbag? He wants it- he wants to be escalated. I'll talk to him and then I'll- I'll bring you in. I can't believe the- I, I thought he said the- Your call has been for- He did say the vehicle was in the shop and then suddenly he's got the vehicle. He ruined the whole fucking thing. That was his fault. That was his fault for being a dick. Your call has been forwarded to- Ah! Fuck him. Fuck him in the ass. Oh yeah. Fuck you, train wreck. Fuck you in the ass. Anyway, he's gonna bring that truck for no reason, so fuck him. Yeah, he's gonna bring the truck down, probably. Uh, Frontier. This person doesn't want to deal with Frontier ever again. Uh, that's the airline, right? Yep. Oh, I'm gonna have to put him on the no-fly list for this. John. John. Uh, thanks to DazX for the tip. And B-Dog and Ragman and Joho. You guys rock. Please leave your message for... Three, one, seven... Hey, 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 uh... Oi, oi, oi! Oh, wait, I just realized. Please leave your message. We got that guy's brother's number. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't we called him yet? No, that, yeah, but I'm saying we can call him from, like, as his uh, brother or vice versa. Yes. Yes. Do you want to call him from his brother's number and say you found, uh... No, 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 call him and say I'm British now. <laughs> <laughs> say that he left his phone in a gay bar. Oh, let the me, pink panther. Let me, let me do it. Let me do it. Yeah, yeah. DS is good with that one. All right. Okay. Uh, I don't know his brother's name, so I'm just gonna put brother on the caller ID. <laughs> do you want some pink panther background sounds? Sure. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Here you go. There we go. All right, you found this phone in the gay bar. Oh, yeah. Yo. Hey, what's going Hello? on, man? You know you know who owns this phone? I found this phone. <laughs> no, I don't. You don't know? You were the last number he called. I was just wondering if you knew who this phone was for. I found it in the bar. Oh, yeah, you know, that's the guy. That guy, that child molester guy. Oh, who? Daddy Big Ron, Daddy Big Ron, I think he realizes he's been pranked. Yeah, I think plan for the big show. Ah, ah, I was waiting for that. Ah, fuck him. All right. Let's see. Quack. Uh, Frontier. I 
I'm sensing the another no-fly list coming up. The final frontier. <laughs> These are the voyagers of the Starship Enterprise. Starship Macron. Thanks, Gary, for oh. the super chat. Please leave your message for three. Any big face reveals planned for the show? Uh, not really. No face reveals. I may or may not have bought a product. I'm not going to ruin it until the actual show, but for those that like donating to make me eat hot stuff, I may have found the ultimate thing, which I may be regretting soon. But uh, we always we always have to have that. I'll get some ice cream. The number you have... Ah, did you hear that? Did you hear what happened? Sorry. The caller you're calling has fucked up phone or shitty internet. Please never call here again. All right. We'll never call there again. We will never. Quack. Uh, yeah. Statesman. Isn't that that fancy magazine? I don't know. That's the... Uh, Oh, Hazelnut says yes, in it's, big capital letters. It's a magazine for fancy people, right? For Is, is it, it? Is it a bougie magazine? Is it one of those magazines that they leave in airplanes? Is it the same as New Statesman? Uh, you might see them at the airport, yeah, to try and class the place uh, up. They sometimes give them away in the free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Carl Plois gets really excited at the airport because she usually gets a free copy of Vogue magazine. Really? She got Not anymore. She used yeah, to. Yeah. I used to, and now they took it away, those bastards. Uh. Damn she you. She killed that shit. There were never any good magazines. You know, no porn or anything. <laughs> uh, it's It's got to be the same as New Statesman, right? I'm going to go with their phone number. The Sky Magazine. Sky, whatever it is, Sky thing. I know that one. Yeah. Wait. That's what they give in Delta Flight, I think. They give that magazine oh, out to people when they're most vulnerable, so they order really expensive things that they don't need. Yeah. Of course, I'm gonna buy a Rolex it, while look at I'm the photo. waiting for my plane. Yeah. Look at the image I sent you. It's like a satire magazine. Is it? Yeah, with Boris Johnson. Oh, yeah. It's like a political thing. Is well, it? anyway, we're gonna assume this lady's a little bit bougie. She's been trying to cancel her subscription though, and you can't do that. <laughs> no cancellation. Hi, it's Kelly. Please leave me a message. That's her. Yeah. On the highway with her window down. Cancellation. Recording her voicemail. Cancellations are tray passe. We don't do Hi, that. It's Kelly. Please. Tray passe train wreck. <laughs> I don't know what that means, <laughs> but that sounds very bougie. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to know what that means. It's French, isn't it? Hi, it's Ke uh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. But Where? Très passé. Très passé. Oh, like to die? Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yes, she died. She died. <laughs> She's deceased now. She killed over. <laughs> Hi, it's Kelly. Please leave me a message. Thanks. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, Kelly. I'm calling from Statesman in regards to the inquiry you sent on social media. Um, unfortunately, you're currently in a lifetime contract, so you wouldn't be allowed to cancel. So that's why that's happening. But uh, thank you for uh, sticking with Statesman and have a great day. So if <laughs> thank you for not cancelling and stayed with us. I just want to see if she re hears that message and then tweets about it. <laughs> yes. Uh, sweet gentle Jack has had a scammer calling her on her birthday. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? I'll sort this prick out. Yeah, sort him out. Oh, his number doesn't even work. Fuck! Ah, fuck! Ah, smash! <laughs> no, he's not talking. He's not talking. What are these fucking people doing in the meetings? What do you think they're doing, train wreck? You think they're up to no good in here? Gladys has a meeting right now, and I don't think she cancelled it this week. On phone your mate, yeah. Who what? 
Oh, is it nearly time for the... Gladys. Yeah, good old Gladys. Uh... Let's try and get one of these bastards. Get your soundboard machines ready. Welcome and thank you. Access code or phone number you have dialed. Your input is invalid. Access code or phone... Fuck off! See, they're trying to keep us out, changing the access codes. Here's Gladys. Thank you for calling our tele... If you are the moderator, there are currently 14 other participants in the conference. ...in the present. And so now, um, it's not that life is perfect. I mean, I've, I've got some chronic health issues I'm dealing with oh, because of the result of beating up my body for decades. Um, and my kids are all adults and they're living lives that maybe I don't agree with about everything about. You are now unmuted. So don't now, have to be the boss of them anymore. Um, 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 um. <laughs> oh, they're on to me. Big Sue's, Big Sue's is having a meeting. Big Sue's, she can usually get rid of us. We'll see there. Welcome. If you are the host, press star. Fuck you in the ass. Wow, okay. Not much going on with the meetings. Let's press on with the business then. Uh, any more in the show chat? Or did I get them all? Did I get, get them all? Alright, let's have a look at the... Uh, let's see here. The two at the very bottom are fresh. You want me to do the fresh ones first? Okay, I can do that. Let's do the fresh meat. You'll have to put a little mark on them if they pick up. Uh, AT&T, worst customer service ever, yada, yada, yada. Blah, 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 blah. All right, come to Ron. Let Ron help. Ah! <laughs> Stupid people. No. No, you fucked it up, Belfast. You fucked it up. You fucked it up. Meanwhile, over at Airbnb... Daddy Big Ron, Ragman, thank you so much. Ah, oh, bringing joy to everybody. That's what I do. Macron showed a live forward slash tip if you want to get on on that action. This person had terrible customer service at Airbnb. Big fucking surprise. Yeah, Airbnb sucks. Bunch of cunts. Hello? Christy, hi. This is Ron calling from the corporate team with Airbnb. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Reason for the call, I was actually alerted to your case by my social media team. I understand you had reached out to them with a complaint. I'm sorry, you're from where? Airbnb. Airbnb. Oh. Yeah, you had made a complaint. Um, did I? Was it a while ago? Uh, looks like you contacted them on social media earlier today. Um, I don't think that was me. Oh, God. Well, can you take us off your list, please, and stop calling here if this is not a serious call? Thank you. <laughs> Just take me... <laughs> Stupid bitch. What the flip? That's a number I came up to. That was an easy find. I know. That was, that's, that was supposed to be her. Uh, let's try the next one down, but yeah, no, that was her fault. That was her fault, everyone. Must have been her name as well, because I said her name at the start of the call. What an absolute bitch.
No. No. Fucked her, bud. Fucked her. Let's go up top here because uh, I got some numbers that uh, Daz, Daz X sent over. And uh, I have a lot of faith. I have a lot of faith here. Daz X has joined the Number Hunters crew. God knows we need it for the Macronathon. Keep the numbers coming in, everybody. Everyone ready to play Craigslist Roulette again on Friday? Slash Saturday. Trainwreck! Speaking of which, Trainwreck! Hey, Trainwreck! I'm shoving you right now. I'm getting in your face. Hey, Trainwreck! Oh, he's gone he off. He ain't here. Oh, he no. ain't here. When he comes back, quiet. I want a word with him when he comes back. Quiet. It's quiet. Shh. I want to talk to him. You got more time to say his name when he comes back. Like Hello? Hi, this is Ron calling from the Corporate Liaison Team with United. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm real good, thank you. Reason for the call is I was actually alerted to your case by my social media team. I understand you reached out to them with a complaint. I did not. I think you have the wrong number. Thank you. Ah, Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck. <laughs> Why is everyone saying the wrong number? D -d That's it. I'm giving up. I'm giving up. It's over. Maybe it's time for a break and then they'll all pick up. That's usually what happens. Yeah, that's usually. The first one was a real firecracker and now... Yeah, maybe maybe I'll have a little break in a few minutes. Now, which one was that? PayPal? Uh, no, that was uh, Mer uh, United. Oh. Very first one, Dax put up her dolls. Sorry, dolls. Yeah, that was the first one. He oh, fuck, no, I missed some of them. Oh, fucking hell. I'm all yeah. over the place. Yeah, it's supposed right. to be PayPal. Yeah, good call, DS. I was going to more. Make sure I don't miss any here. Make sure you know I didn't get the answer. Okay. PayPal got the worst customer service, says Tahiana. Oh, here we go. Tahiana. Ah! Oh, no, wait, you can't call us. You can't call us them, can you? Yeah, that's right. I'll use my own damn phone number. All right, Tahiana. No! It's just a bad number. Fucking bullshit! This guy's complaining about Facebook. I'm just going to use my own number for this anyway. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, sir. This guy's account got hacked. Please leave your message for Omari Williams. I think that's him. Yes, it is. That's him. That's him. Leave your message for Omari. Will uh, one more try because I really want to. Uh, this guy sounds like he'd be up for it.
Please leave your message for Omari Williams. Damn you, sir. Alright, alright. Maybe we'll go for a little break. They all pick up after the break. Uh, AT and T. AT and T worst customer service. Rude. We'll see about this. Good afternoon, sir. Ron calling from AT&T. How are you doing? Can you repeat that? Yeah, this is Ron calling from AT&T. How are you doing? Yes, hello. Yeah, reason for the call. I was actually alerted by my social media team that you had reached out to them with a complaint. I think it was on Twitter. Oh, yes, I did. Um, I work here at the corporate office. Could you tell me what happened? Um, so my parents, um, um, bought a phone from you guys, and then, um, um, they went out of town recently, like, after that. Okay. And then, yeah. so, service was terrible, so they ended up, so we ended up switching back to Verizon. Okay. But the problem was, I went to the at and store to return the phone, because my phone had never been opened, and then that's when they told me that, uh... Uh, that they would be giving me a ninety nine dollar credit back um, within three to five days. So I was like, okay. Then I ended up. I went on a. I went on a tenth, and then I went. I went again on the the twenty second because of the phone. I mean, because I never did receive the money. So then they were telling me, okay, it actually takes about fifteen days. So I'm like, why didn't you guys tell me that in the first place? So I was just irritated and disgusted. Okay. Okay. So what date did you return the phone? The tenth. Oh, on the 10th. I'm just looking at your account here, yeah. So there is a $99 credit due to be applied. Did they tell you all the terms and conditions of the credit? No. Okay, so the credit can be used towards the purchase of a new phone with AT&T any time in the next three months. And that's with the purchase of a phone priced over nine hundred ninety-eight, ninety-nine, or above. But that will be applied to your account. So what you can do is you can go into an AT and T store any time in the next three months and purchase a new phone, and they will they will deduct the ninety nine dollars for you. So it's this going to be it's not going to be a ninety nine dollar credit back to me. It's going to be ninety nine dollars credit towards AT and T. Yes, it's store credit. Yeah, store credit is what you get. So you won't it won't go into your bank or anything like that. You'll just get an email saying that you have ninety nine dollars store credit. But doesn't that kind of defeat the whole purpose of me returning the phone? Because, like I said, my parents bought the phone and we were turning the phone back because the service wasn't good. So mm -hmm. now we're back with Verizon. Right, right. What kind of phone was it that you uh, purchased? Um, I believe it was some iPhone. Uh, I believe it was an iPhone. Uh, let me just have a look here. Yeah, looking at this, you would have been better off just selling the phone. You would have, you would have, obviously, you'd have been able to get like cash money for that then. So in, in future, that's, um, what, yeah, that's what I would recommend that you do. Does that answer all your questions anyway? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Hey, all right, give me a give me a chance to help here, sir. Um. Yeah. All right. Um. Did I miss anything crazy? No, not really. Oh, I think Belfast found a Zoom meeting. I'm sorry, the phone cut off. Oh, no problem. Um. So you said you had more questions. No, that's it. Okay, good. Uh, well, yeah, in the future, we'd recommend just maybe move your house to somewhere that has a better reception for AT&T, or if you are going to um, um, just uh, just sell the phone, like sell it on eBay or something. Um, 
Um. Okay. Um. 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 Um, 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 um,
ring, 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 hey. ring, hey. ring, hey. ring, hey. ring, 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 ring,
here. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I had a missed call from this number. Um, no, I don't think so. Well, I think so. Who is this? Who is this? Well, who's this? You called me. I did not call you. I didn't call anyone. Yeah, you did. I had a missed call from this number, dipshit. Well, first of all, you don't. there's no need to curse at me. Well, you don't need so to be I a dipshit. Why'd you call my- why are you playing on my phone? I'm not playing on your phone, because I didn't call you. Yes, you did. I had a missed call from this number, stupid. I just pressed redial. Okay, well, I- I, I did not call you. If I did call you, it was a mistake. Alright, so I just don't call here again, I, dipshit. Take me off your list. I- there is no list. Take me off your list. I don't want any more sales calls, please. This isn't- Mother I'm not a salesman. Well, stop Listen, calling Listen, motherfucker. Call drive- I drive faster, drive faster. We're right behind you. Drive faster, you fucking moron. Yeah, look behind you. We're right there. You see me? Drive faster, you fucking idiot. You see me? You see- Speed you up, speed up. You see the speed finger? Up, speed up, speed up. He's Move over. Horn. Daddy big, Daddy big Ron, do 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 Three minutes ago. Let me just see what they're doing in there. Thank you for calling. If you are the moderator, there are currently six other participants in the conference. It's supposed to be at this moment. Nothing, absolutely nothing happens in God's world by mistake. Until I could accept my alcoholism, I could not stay sober. What about slavery? Unless I accept life completely on life's terms, I cannot be Shut happy. Up, mate. I need to concentrate, not so much. You are now unmuted. Until I could accept my alcoholism. Alcoholism. Accept my alcoholism. I could not stay sober. I could not stay sober. I could not stay sober. I could accept my alcoholism. I think she's been drinking. What do you guys think? Until I could accept my alcoholism, I could not stay yeah, sober. Yeah, I think so too. Stay sober. 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 <laughs> my alcoholism? She's so drunk that she's glitching. Ma'am, you appear to what be- What in the world is this? <laughs> ma'am, you appear- <laughs> you, appear this? you appear to be glitching out there, ma'am. Have you had a- have you been drinking? <laughs> Are you ragdolling in the Matrix, ma'am? <laughs> well, it's Greg, moderator. Sorry, I kicked my... You are now unmuted. Greg, do we have do someone we have... on the dashboard? Greg, do we have anyone on the dashboard, Greg? I think we have an intruder, Greg. 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 Dashboard. 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 You are now unmuted. Dashboard. dashboard. Greg, we still on for tonight? You are now unmuted. Greg, you dashboard. still coming to my house tonight? Are we going to the Pink Panther? Greg. You owe me money from the last time, Greg. You are now muted. Ah, he kicked us out. <laughs> Recording uh, has been started. Recording has I can accept stopped. my alcoholism, I could not stay sober. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, ma'am. She's in a very dark place. Let's move yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, where am I up to? We tried that Bank of America one. Google Fiber. I Ooh, just put a I just put a couple of fresh ones in short shot. Oh, 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 oh. American air conditioning and some American. other shit. American air conditioning. Yep. Damn. What is it to Sh do? Short short code American air. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Can't be from American air. It's American Air. Never heard of them before. Uh, 
Da, 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 da. Get in here, Christian. With a K and two N's. It's all fancy in here. Hi, this is Ron calling from the Corporate Liaison Information Team with American Air. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Reason for the call, I was actually alerted to your case by my social media team. I understand that you had uh, previously reached out to them with a complaint. Yes. Could you tell me what happened? So, I voluntarily checked my bag at Santa Ana. It made it to Phoenix, um, direct flight, and it unloaded off the plane in Phoenix, but it never showed up in baggage claim. And I waited about two hours. Uh, they really didn't help me that much besides just giving me a small bag of toiletries and was like, it will probably show up in the next few hours because it was like one terminal. I don't know how it could have like messed up from like just getting off the plane and getting scanned off the plane to like not making it into baggage claim and they didn't have it at the service desk when I asked they looked for it but nothing really came up I'm like how are you I don't think any of the bags for my flight actually made it onto the carousels um and oh it's been about 48 hours since I've really gotten any contact for them and when I did contact customer service they were like we did find it and the case is closed but then when I contacted the airport directly they were like the case is still open and we haven't found your bag yet oh that's strange well the notes that I'm showing here yeah. at corporate are saying that the bag was located a few hours later so that's the good news um just so I can confirm everything where were you flying I contacted them around two huh yeah, it may have just been this afternoon when Indiana. this is... I caught you about two. So you were traveling from where? I'm sorry, say again. And I told him. Santa Ana. And which airport were you flying to, just to confirm? Phoenix. Okay, so yeah, the good news is the bag has been located. So, um, where are you at the moment? Are you in a hotel or something like that? I'm at an apartment but I'm only 15 minutes away from the airport. Okay, because what I could do, um, the uh, ba it's, it's with one of our delivery guys right now, a Mr. Scobie, so I could give him a call and just see if he's en route to you or if there's a place nearby you can pick it up. Would that be okay? That would be great. The only problem with the apartment complex is the front elevator is broken, so I would need someone to call me when they get here and I can come down and get it. Oh, that's no problem. I'll I'll call him and let him know that now. Because it might be hard. Okay. Can you just give me a, a brief description of the bag as well, so I can get them to check that it's there? It's a pink hard shell case. It's like a carry-on size, not too big, not too small, but okay. pink and hard shell. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to call up the driver now. Um, okay. Just take typing up some notes here. I appreciate this. I keep getting false information from everyone. <laughs> oh like, gosh, that's no. We certainly don't want that to happen. Let me just patch in the driver now, and we'll see where he is. Thank you. This Alex. Oh, hi, Alex. It's uh, Ron over at the Corporate Liaison Information Team. How are you doing? I'm good. How can I help you? Uh, you have a bag on your van right now uh, scheduled for delivery. I can give you the internal tracking number um, or just maybe a description of the bag. I don't know how many you've got there. Yeah, I got like six, seven of them. What, what the bag looks like? Um, any uh, pink ones? Yes, I got one pink hard shell suitcase, yeah. That's the one, yeah. So, um, the lady's on the phone right now. She's at an apartment, and we were wondering how soon you could drop that over to her. 
Oh, I think that's scheduled for tomorrow evening delivery. Oh, is there any way you can make it tonight? That shouldn't be. That's going to be very hard. I'm not here tomorrow. Oh, well, she's not there tomorrow, so it's going to have to be tonight. Yeah, that's that probably ain't going to happen. Why can't you can't you wait until tomorrow night? Because my flight's going back to Santa Ana tomorrow. In the morning. Mm. So what do you want me to do with the back? Well, can you can you just drop it over to her apartment tonight for us? That'd be great. I can try, but that's going to be a problem. I got plans for tonight. I mean, I'm, I know you've probably just finished your shift or you're finishing in a few minutes, but I see from the GPS you're only about five minutes away. You're real close. Oh, man. Is there yeah, any but you way? know what the traffic is right now. Is there any why, way you could just drop it over there? Why are these people calling in the last minute and demanding the getting things done? Why she didn't pick up her back when she was at the airport? Well, there was some kind of problem. It didn't. It didn't go. They on. didn't have it. Yeah, they didn't have it. All right, and, and there, there, there really is no need for the attitude there either. I didn't, Probably I'm they had it and you didn't find it. As usual, what happens? It's right in front of you. The thing keeps spinning on the carousel and you don't see it. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go. I don't know. Fuck uh, it. I'm, I gotta go. If I have to go, I gotta go. All right. Now there's another problem. The the lady says the doorbell doesn't work over there as well. Oh fuck my ass. No, she's what am on I the supposed to do? She's on the phone right now, Pay. I'd appreciate if you just oh. wa watch the language a little bit. Shit, sorta. So, uh, w what do you want him to do with the bag, ma'am? Because he's nearby right now. Should I call her on the phone, or should I, should I be banging so I on a door? Ma'am, oh, ma are you crying? This is fucking ridiculous. Oh, shit. I I've been waiting 48 hours for what this is going fucking on today? bag. What the yeah, this. Me for oh my god, don't cry! You're making me cry! Me cry. Me cry. No, don't cry! <laughs> oh my god, can everyone stop crying, please? <laughs> don't cry! Alex, don't. Oh god, Alex! My shit. <laughs> Alex, it's okay. It's okay. Oh it's okay. Alex, please. She, she made me upset. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's very emotional I tonight. I should not be getting a fucking attitude. <laughs> yeah, he's... Ma'am, if you want to... I'm wanna, sorry. I'm if, just you should not be treating me no, this no, way. No, 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 ma'am. Ma'am, he was being a piece of shit to you. He was being a piece of shit. Alex, as soon How as... How did that call me a piece of shit? That fucking crying bitch. Hey, hey. Right. As soon as you drop that bag off, you, you come to my office. You come to my office. Well, she better be there to answer the fucking door, otherwise I'm gonna rip no, the no, fucking no, back no, open. No, no, I'm gonna no, no, spread no. all her fucking underwear. I'm gonna actually it's take a fucking penis with me. I'm gonna sell him. Just drop the damn attitude, all right? Man, I'm sorry. I had a long day. Right. Okay, we've all had a long day. Now, how about you get your ass over there, deliver the bag, and come to my office. I need to speak Man, to you. Man, don't tell me what to fucking do. What's wrong with you? Alex, You're not stop my fucking boss. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> fucking people. <laughs> Why the fuck are you crying now? <laughs> <laughs> don't cry. <laughs> it's making me upset now. <laughs> You fuck is making me upset. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking bitch, you fuck everything up. Oh my god. Guys, guys, what's going on? What's going on? Run. run. I don't know. Some Why fucking bitch made us upset. I just, I had a really hard <laughs> time. Right. Train, train. <laughs> Come on, cry on my shoulder, train. <laughs> Why is everybody crying? Oh, you, you won't believe what's happened. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> and then and then she yelled she yelled at Alex and then Alex yelled at me and it's <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, damn it! I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh god! I'm sick of this job! Why everybody crying in his office? You don't believe what happened. Tonight has been very emotional. Wee! Wee! Ah! Ma'am! 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 Ma'am, yeah. do you see what you've done? You've made the whole office cry now. I quit. I can't take that American anymore. Airlines Everything. Made the whole office. I American, quit. I blame American Airlines. This is disgraceful. Why are you? Not me. Yeah, just I'm listening over there the on the phone. I'm, I'm just listening on the phone and enjoying everyone you. crying. She <laughs> made us all cry. Alex, are you still driving? <laughs> no, I had to pull over. Okay. I'm not able to drive like this. Get back in the car, please, and get that suitcase over there, please. No, I can't. M no, my no, no. glasses get are wet right now. Get back oh, in the, the car, please. Get back my in the car. Shirt. My shirt is soaked with tears, so I can't drive. Just come on, buddy. Pull it together now. You called me a bitch. You shouldn't have said that to her. <laughs> the fucking bitch fuck everything up. <laughs> okay, okay, Alex, Alex, let's pull it together here. Let's... Oh. Oh, I... Let's all pull it together here. All right, oh. Alex. Alex, get oh. back in the car, okay? okay? Get back in the car. The most important oh. thing is we get that suitcase <laughs> over there right now, okay? Oh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I'm about to start. <laughs> Okay. Five minutes away, I'll, I'll meet you directly he's getting outside. he's getting in the car now, ma'am. Let's just stay on the phone with him. Right I want to make sure oh, he gets there. I'm okay. shaking. I can't find the hole. Drive the carefully. Key. Drive carefully. Okay. Oh. There you go. There you go. Now just let me know when you're pulling onto the freeway. Okay. Me tight, run, hold me. Okay. Are you on the road? Okay. Are you on the yeah, road now? Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, I'm about to get okay, on the ramp. I'm about to get on the highway. He's on the... Oh my oh. god! Why is that? What is... <laughs> oh, somebody just rear-ended me! Oh! 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 Alex! 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 No! Hold on! Hold on, Alex! Oh God! I see the light! I see the light! Don't go towards the light! Don't go towards the light, Alex! It's his nose. Grab his butt. Grab his butt. Oh, no. Oh, God. It's the pink suitcase, okay? It's the pink suitcase, okay? I'm taking it with me. Oh, God. No. Let go. Oh, God. <laughs> Somebody stealing my watch. Oh, God. Mom, are you there? Mom. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Something terrible happened, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am. Ma'am. Fuck, that's elevator music. Ma'am. Ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, I think something terrible has happened to Alex. Yeah. Um, something yeah. terrible happened. Oh, God. <laughs> Calm down. Issues. I gotta, shirt. I gotta change. I think I'm gonna use the shirt from her pink suitcase. No, don't put the customer's clothes on. No, my no. ones are all bloody. No, I no, can't. don't open the suitcase. I can't, no, I don't can't don't deliver. I can't Not deliver the suitcase. Like this. Not the suitcase. We need. Oh God, ma'am. Yeah. Oh Ma my God. Is it okay I if Alex wears some of your clothes? Can I use the panties? I think no. I'm wet down there. They need to get my suitcase here on skate. Yeah, but he... I shit it myself. The I I'll be honest, ma'am. I'm kind of getting really pissed <laughs> off at you guys right now because you guys are being... The suitcase sounds like it got a little bit... It got a little bit... It got a little bit scathed. I'm afraid. Um... Oh. 
Oh, somebody's here, sir. The can you help me the with outside. the pink? It's not gonna be that bad. Give me that okay. goddamn suitcase. Give it to Op me. Give open me it. Now. Give me. Give, give me, me some cake. clothes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, what's going on no. there? Give it somebody's give grabbing me. Somebody's pink. stealing the pink suitcase. <laughs> Take his wallet and his keys. No! Please help me. <laughs> I need to deliver this suitcase today, please. <laughs> no, 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 who is this? Hello? Who is this? Well, who's it? Who is this? Do you, why, why do you have Alex's phone? Who are you? Do you have the pink suitcase? Yeah, I found a suitcase. What? Who? who yeah, th there's a lady on the phone. She's going to need that back. Are any of the panties missing? Can you check? Panties? Hang on. Oh, oh. Give me a second. Let me look. Let me open this. Ma'am? Oh my god. Oh, I like this. Ma'am, it looks like someone has the suitcase. We're just trying to trying to uh, track him down right now. Let me taste it. Hang on. Can you just come can you just confirm, ma'am, what color were your panties? <laughs> just so we know I'm it's I'm not doing uh, that. That's so unprofessional. We need to know it's your suitcase, ma'am. Ma'am. Can you hear me? My bow for four. Oh, my bow. <laughs> It tastes good. What? There are dresses in there. All right. Okay, there were dresses. What you don't even know the color of my panties. Well, we do, ma'am. The guy's going to check now. Make sure it's the right suitcase. Uh, no. Sir, sir, you can check and there is a blue dress in there. All right, sir. Tell me what you I'm see in there. I'm not giving you the fucking colors of my underwear. Is there a blue dress in there, sir? Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. Where's this lady's address? I'll, uh, I'm going to drop them off. Is there anything Where's else the in there? Is there anything else in there? Can you confirm the color of the panties, please? It's in my mouth. I, I, I swallowed it. <laughs> you swallowed? Ma'am, it looks like you may have eaten a pair of your panties. Is that going to be a problem? Black ones. We can replace those for you with American this Air pan phone panties. Call is a problem with me. Ma'am, I can give you a voucher it for... Like fish. I can give you a voucher for some American Air panties. If anything is missing, we just I'm we have a voucher. For yeah, nice on the inside right now. Here. There's a pretty stain on here. I like. <laughs> Jesus oh, my Christ! Word, <laughs> ma'am. I'd really not hey, like the sexual black man. right now. I'm gonna give you give two. Give me the suitcase. Give me the suitcase. Alex is going open it. You can give me the suitcase. Daddy, Why are you putting the blue dress on? What's wrong with you? This is not Daddy, yours. Who's what putting the blue dress on? on? Who is the black man is putting a blue dress on. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and okay. He's got a penis on his hat. <laughs> right? <laughs> God. <laughs> well, what was... No, 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 no. Don't you <laughs> work, oh. oh, my dick. Oh. Hello? 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 Is anyone still on the line? Ma'am, I think I'm going to need to get a supervisor in here. What do you think? Yeah. Um, I, I, this is kind of above my pay grade now. What's the company that you work for? Uh, American Air. Can I, can I get my supervisor in here, ma'am? I'm a little bit out of my depth here. It, yeah, it, you need to get your supervisor in there. Okay, hold on the line. It'll only, it'll only take less than a minute. Bear with me. I'm going to put you through to the emergency supervisor. One moment. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. We're trying to deliver my fucking suitcase, and I think this guy just got robbed. And they're flipping, like, making fun of, like, wearing my panties and my dress. Yeah. I don't know. American Air, apparently. And they're talking to the freaking driver. 
and the driver's just being a little... I'm about to put you on the phone. I can't. It's a great day to spread your wings at American Air. This is Hazel speaking. How may I assist you? Daddy Big Ron. Do, 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 do. Hello? Daddy, big Ron, I've been pleased with you. Hi. Hi. Another Real. donation for the best oh, show on earth. Rolling on the floor, laughing, rolling on the floor, oh, laughing, rolling on the floor, emergency. laughing. This one has me in tears. It's me. Is everything okay? What happened? Are you okay? Are you yeah. safe? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just, okay. um, my bag got lost a few days ago. And Your bag got lost? Okay, go ahead. They, mm-hmm. Sorry. Um, and the person called me saying that they were on their way and that my bag was going to get delivered today. And the driver was sexually harassing me and the driver who dropped off your bag was sexually harassing you you he didn't drop it off he had it in his car and i was trying to get him to drop it off tonight you didn't meet the driver but he was sexually harassing you what yeah and oh my goodness i told me that he was wearing my panties and like in my suitcase and was not being nice to me at all wasn't being nice to you our driver (laughs) yeah and then i don't know what happened on the freeway but it sounded like someone stole my back from him from the driver who was being mean and sexually harassing you somebody stole the bag from him on the freeway (laughs) yeah and then they were joking about me wanting my panties the entire time. He was wearing your panties or eating them, did you say? I'm sorry. Eating them, wearing them, joking that I just wanted my panties. This was the driver or the person who stole the bag on the freeway from the driver? Both. And I think wow. I heard gunshots, but I'm not sure. Oh my goodness! This is this is something I. I and then I they just I said need... I was being transferred. So I don't know. Okay. So you you are not in possession of your bag yet, and the driver was bringing it to you, and then I'm all not of this in my happened. Possession. And mm, I think no. now it's a stolen and they're just making Daddy fun of me. Ron, do, 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 do. Daddy Big Ron, This is do, do, our driver do, do, do. making Daddy fun Ron, of you? Do, do, this is, do, do, do. I've never Ron. heard anything like this before. This is crazy. Completely, like, not being nice. <laughs> not being nice? They were mean to you? They've already had it hard enough. We could they really help. mean to you? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. And apparently it was only five minutes hear away. That. I am so sorry to hear that. This is really upsetting me too. You're please stop crying. I'm sorry. This literally all happened and they changed their dance. I'm crying now. Oh my god. I'm gonna I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get the um do you mind if I get the um I'm gonna get the driver on the phone, okay? Do you mind just one moment? I'm gonna take care of this for you. This is absolutely ridiculous and this should not have happened. And I can only apologize and make this up to you the best I can. I'm going to get the driver on the phone right now and I'm gonna get this taken care of right away. Okay, ma'am? (laughs) 
beautiful oh. dress. This Alex. Dress is Alex. Uh, Alex. Hello? Hazel. Alex. I, I'm having a very disturbing call with one of our clients that you're not being nice to her and that you're doing something with her personal items in her suitcase that you're supposed to deliver. Uh, I don't drive for your Does company, he... lady. Uh, I'm looking at the call display and this is Alex. So stop playing games. Oh yes. This is Alex. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. Alex, how how can I help you? You're going to go over there. You're going to deliver that woman's bag in pristine condition. Buy that and then girl you're going to come back to the depot and you're going to come to my office and see me. And I will wait here until that happens. Some of the belongings are in me. I'm sorry. They're in me. I, I don't know what that means. You ate them? I can feel them moving around in my stomach right now. Just twisting and twirling. And it feels so good. Uh, I want to keep them forever. Alex, this doesn't sound like you. You're a very sensitive man, usually. Do you want me to get the belongings out? Ma'am, this is this is Ron. I'm still on the line. I was I was told to monitor the call. We think this is the gentleman that took the suitcase and ate the pants. Doesn't sound like Alex. No, no, no. Alex, Alex, Alex was Russian. Alex was Russian. This is clearly an American gentleman. But I have a call. On it lo it looks like he took the bag and. Oh my goodness! Alex is in the hospital. He was beat over the head with a suitcase. Yeah, exactly. Oh now. Sir, whatever your name is, we know you're not the real Alex, but I would like you to come into my office. We can send an Uber to pick you up. We'd like to get the suitcase back, and we're going to have to have you regurgitate those panties, sir. Because they are now evidence. Do you have something I can choke on? I have some Ipecac syrup, okay? You're going to come to my office, and you're going to regurgitate those panties, and then you're going to drop them off to this lady straight away. Can I do that over your lap? What the hell is wrong with you, sir? Where's, where is that? Where is Alex? Did he go to the hospital? He's in the hospital. The oh God, not Alex! <laughs> not Alex! Oh, Apparently, he has a concussion, and he has like a metal suitcase thing attached oh, to his face. Jesus from the Christ! <laughs> Oh, God. His kid is just back from the hospital tomorrow. He's out of the cold, man. Oh, Jesus. It's his son's bar mitzvah tomorrow, too. Oh, damn it. Oh. Oh. oh Ma'am, do you see what you've done? Ma'am? Ma'am, are you still with us? Did this resolve your complaint, ma'am? Ma'am? Hello? Um? Hello? Oh. Ma'am, do you Hi, have... yeah. Hi. So, this is her oh, boy. Hi there. Hi. How, how can we help? Okay. So, what's what's been going on? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Your girlfriend seems a little bit upset there. We've had a few problems getting the bag to her, that's all. Um, uh, it it uh, looks... One of my drivers is in the hospital with your lady friend's buckle of her pink suitcase smashed into his skull, I would say it's more than a few problems. Yeah. And what are the, you going to do about this, sir? And Yeah, what are you going to do about this, sir? This is your fault. <laughs> this is not our fault. Oh, no, no. Why again? What, what is... You, okay, I, 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 I received don't, a I don't phone know. call, and... sir, sir, sir. I received a phone call from your lady friend, and she was quite in distress. She put me in distress. I came to learn that the driver who was making an unscheduled stop, I might add, an unscheduled stop to your home to relieve your lady friend's distress and worry was attacked, had his phone stolen, had the suitcase stolen by someone who crazily ate all of the painted underwear and all the items in it. I don't know and what the, that was all about. The police are telling me that- Over the head in the suitcase and he's now in the hospital and I repeat to you, what are you going to do about this, sir? And ma'am, according to the latest reports coming in from the right. scene, um, it looks like he also sexually interfered with Alex while he was incapacitated. 
We're dealing with a real sick animal here. Oh my goodness. And Alex is so sensitive. This is oh my god. Yeah, he I, won't I, he won't like this at all. This is not this, our sir. fault. I don't I don't Yes, this is your fault. fault. This yes. Is foreseeable here. I mean well, sir, I mean, the fact is, if you'd flown your girlfriend you first class, this wouldn't have happened. my driver to make an unscheduled stop because you wanted your suitcase. Yeah. So you tell me yeah. how and this is not your fault. To be fair, sir, you booked economy as well. This is what you get when you book a cheap ticket. Like, you should have flown her first class if she's so sensitive. This wouldn't have happened. This, yeah, it's completely, completely I think they hung unacceptable. Up. <laughs> um, I, I really, there I they really go. There they go. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. What I happened in that call? I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't even know. That's it. I quit now. That's it. <laughs> I know. Apparently, I'm roboing in Discord. No, uh, you're not. Here. Nobody's roboting. It says I have a good signal. No, you're not Robert. You're ha good. Hang up on Discord and dial back in again. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, that call really got out of control. <laughs> At one point, she was like laughing after she cried, like, and we did all the fake crying. She was laughing for a minute, and then she then she lost it and again. Then she started crying again. <laughs> yeah, that's I feel bad for her for one second, but then when she said she was like sexually harassed and people were mean to her, that was um, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, come on, look at poor Alex. Alex. Alex got <laughs> got in a crash, and then he got anally raped whilst being robbed, <laughs> and then he got shot. Love, 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 Alex. Like Alex had it way worse than she did, and he hardly cried at all. Oh god! Uh, right, I think Trainwreck should call and do a survey now. You don't know any of you don't know anything that just happened, Trainwreck. Okay. Perfect. Just just call back and just do a survey. It's American Air. You want to know how the service is? Not American Airlines, though. Right? American Air. Always say American Air. Okay. That's what we do. Great. Just not gonna pick up. Oh no. Wait for the tweets. <laughs> I've reached Christiane. I oh God! Okay. Well, well, hi. Christiane. <laughs> hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> oh God. Uh, all right. Now we just wait for her to tweet. Uh, I mean, get ready because she's gonna go fucking nuts. What is that? Oh, American it's be yogurt, yogurt, yogurt. I'll put a I'll put a special little marker on her. There we go. Well, uh, <laughs> someone <laughs> check her Twitter for me in like ten minutes because I'm expecting. Uh... Oh Not God. That's a barrage it. of tweets. We're never going to top that. She believed the whole thing. <laughs> like, seriously. Do okay. you have a title for the show yet? Uh, I mean, it was going to be called There Was Smoke, There Was Fire. You know, that seemed like the most appropriate name, but. Yeah, but how about. <laughs> Go on. How about crying? Everyone cries. Everyone cries. What about the crying game? Something like that? The crying game. <laughs> Two Karens crying. All right, is it just me or when you zoom in, does she look like Jeff? <laughs> as if zoom in more and ends the picture right as if I'm zoom. As if things weren't bad enough for her. Oh, wow. I, that is not how I would have expected her to look. Uh, hmm. Let me have a look. Where is she? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Enhance that picture, Ray. Enhance. Again. Oh, God, yeah. She, look, she looks a bit hysterical. Thanks to Ragman and DJ2 and Rabid Mouse for the tips. When people cry, you all have to donate. It's been, why is with everybody being so damn hysterical tonight? <laughs> so like, I don't Jesus, know. Jesus Christ. She started crying right off the bat, That's to be fair. That's number two, right? It's That's like two. the second cryer, yeah. Um, yeah. Should we go, for, you go, should we go for three? Yeah. Uh, well, I think that's a new record. <laughs> Trainwreck, what is it we do here at Adormi? You know, you know what she do? What? Sorry to interrupt. Christian, she is associate producer, assistant editor for the rundown at T News. Oh. What is that? No one knows. No one watches it. <laughs> Holy fuck. Never heard of it. Never heard, Never of, heard it. of it. We don't care. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> Gibberish. <laughs> Lies. You're a liar and a traitor to the Rebel Alliance. Take her away. <laughs> Guards, take off her head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, 
Spells were better. Do... Thing? Let what? me put you a better Adore picture. Me. Of Adore course, me. Yeah, Adore yeah throw a picture of her in. Yeah, that's a better picture. Uh, this person can't buy anything from Adore Me. I don't know what they do at Adore Me. We're not going to top that last rate. call anyway. Probably. Jack says, Jack says they say they sell uh, brass and pennies. Ah, uh, there you go. I nailed it. Hmm. I hope she's not going to cry about it anyway. <laughs> let's, let's make her. <laughs> let's make that bad. Hello? Hi, good afternoon. Ron calling from the corporate uh, office with a dormy. Oh, yes, hi. Hi, I'm calling in relation to a complaint that you had sent over. I just wondered how I can help. Um, I can't check out. I can't. I, I have two credit cards. And it won't accept them for some reason. And I've tried adding, and then I have a debit card that I tried adding, and it, that wasn't working. I mean, I can't, I, I just want to buy stuff. And oh, I'm not gosh. in a place where I can troubleshoot right now, but it's just, and I talked to customer service, and she was going to order for me, but she said, I can't take your credit card over the phone, um, so try putting it into your profile, and that didn't work either. And she said, I'm going to escalate it. And I get an email from you guys and saying, have you tried entering it in on your um, profile instead of the <laughs> checkout? And I'm like, yeah, I tried that. And anyway, I just, I'm frustrated. <laughs> I just want to buy some stuff. Oh, gosh. I'd like to try and help yeah. you with this. Um, what is it you were looking to purchase? Um, I, well, it's a... Uh, some lingerie and some stockings. I don't remember off the top of my head what they're called. I'm driving in my car right now. Oh, nice. Okay. Let me just... I'm trying to see if I can bring up your previous shopping basket here. Um, okay. And uh, what's your cup size? Um, he's 38i. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. I, uh, <laughs> I may need some pictorial evidence of that. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I can't see why you weren't able to uh, to check out, but I can uh, I can certainly probably help you out with that. Uh, maybe get the order okay. to work for you. Is there a time when you're going to be in front of your computer? Um, in about an hour. About um, an hour. Three. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, what I'll do is I'll schedule a call with you in an hour and we'll basically, okay. we'll get you logged into our remote corporate system and see if we can make a transaction through there. Um, okay. Does your computer have a webcam? Yes. Excellent, excellent. We'll be needing that because we may need to, uh, I may need to check those dimensions if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, just so you know, my nine-year-old's in the car with me. <laughs> okay, well, uh, don't worry. It's perfectly legitimate. Um, we're just uh, helping you with an online transaction here, so no worries there. I'll uh, I'll let you rush home and uh, you uh, get him out the way, and then we'll uh, we'll get you uh, serviced. Okay, sounds good. All right, perfect. I'll speak to you in an hour. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> we have to. Is the system working? We ha system yeah, working? yeah. Ray, Ray, <laughs> get, get make sure gotta, the system is working. Jesus you gotta make her fucking go topless on the camera. <laughs> should uh, I get her in? A, should I get her in a Zoom meeting and get her to get her boobs out? I mean, YouTube, yes, YouTube yeah. won't like it, but don't show her on YouTube. Bloody the motherfucker! <laughs> she's uh, or just try making a Discord. I warn you now, she's definitely a butterface, but uh. Yeah, she has she has eye sized tits, and I reckon I can social engineer her into getting them out. <laughs> <laughs> do it, she do it. What well, I'll do, right? I'll uh, I'll be really quick, and I'll be like, just so you know, all calls are monitored and recorded for training <laughs> and quality purposes, and also broadcast on the internet. Do you have any questions? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you say it quick enough, she'll be like, yeah, that's fine, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. There you go, guys. There you go, guys. 38i tits coming out in one hour. Somebody, uh, can you set I'm a timer? I'm timer for that. Can you put, and on the timer, can you put tits? Yes. And then when it gets to one hour, can you please say tits? Unless I'm in a really good call or anything, but, uh. Of course. Yeah, this could be one of the greatest shows ever. We've made two people cry, and one of them's going to get their tits out, so. Um, that's pretty. That's a good one. That's a good, yeah, I don't know. Damn. Yeah, I'd say it's a good one. <laughs> if only all, all this should have happened on the Macronathon, it would have been great so far. We'd have been been well into it. 
Yeah. How you know it's not gonna but happen. But the best is too. yet to come. Just think, Ooh, just think. This is gonna be better. This time on Friday it's night, we'll up. we'll only have twenty two and a half hours left to go. <laughs> no, wait, twenty one and a half. I'm sorry, we'll have twenty one and a half hours left to go. Uh, all right. Uh, let's put that excitement on the back burner for a moment. Good, sure. good find there, uh, Ronnie. Uh, Very good. Are we gonna do, are we gonna get in a Zoom meeting or are we gonna do AI verify? AI verify. Um, is it working, Ray? Of course, it's working. Yes. Can you give Ray, me? You're a legend. Can you give me the site to view it? Um, yeah, it, it hasn't changed, but I'll give it. Yeah. Send it in a DM so I've got it all there. Um, yeah, I will again. Yeah. Ready to go. All right. Uh, and should we make a Zoom meeting as a backup? Or uh, Belfast, can oh. you do that? Can you make a Zoom yeah. meeting as a backup? So if AI Still verify it. fails. Yes. Yes. It's exciting. Fucking train wreck is already taking his pencil. Oh, it's already off, my friend. Oh my yeah. god, train wreck, <laughs> shut the fuck up. All, Calm down. All, boy. Train wreck, pull your penis away. Come on now. Oh, all right, all right. Look, they're just boobs. Chill out. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Well, you only got his mantis to play with, so I mean. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Look at that picture, Ray. Fucking <laughs> 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 Wait, That's are scary. you finding pictures of her? No, no, no. Look in the chat. <laughs> yeah, oh my just God. found one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sick fucks! They uh, just they just stuck Ray's head on a picture of her. <laughs> <laughs> That's an improvement, unfortunately. Oh, that's funny. Let me make sure the link works at this one. Oh, Ray just sent me a picture. Oh, there it is. Yeah, sorry. I'll get oh, it. Oh, they are natural, Coco. Uh, Gary. Size oh, I, though. Okay. She must have a lot of back pain. Oh, yeah, she can't walk. <laughs> oh, my God, that's great. So, so what I'm going to do, there we are. We have the goose machine ready up there on the TV screen behind me. We'll get we'll get her to go to the website, and then yep. basically while she's verifying herself, I'll just ask her questions about her tits. <laughs> oh gee. Do you have to lean backwards when you walk downstairs? Shall I tell her that we're doing an AI scan of her tits to find the perfect size, and she has to <laughs> just hold them up to the camera? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. Uh, all right, okay, enough of this, enough of this filth. Let's get some real, uh... Let's get some real complaining in here, let's see now. Uh, da, da. So we tried that Google Fiber one, didn't we? We have a Lowe's complaint. Oh, no, wait, I didn't do that Adomi one. I got all... I got all excited. We still haven't figured out what we do at Adomi. Well, that uh, was the bitch with the tits. Yeah, yeah Oh, that's, that's her. True. That's her. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting confused. There's so many fucking complaints all over the place. All right. right all I have right. to remember I'm Adomi when I call her. Yeah, it is Lowe's. It is Lowe's. I was right the first time. I got, I got distracted by tits. It happens. Mm. Very distracting. That's why Very Trainwreck distracts me so much. Oh! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh worst customer service ever. There we go. There we go. How big are your tits, Trainwreck? <laughs> uh very small, yeah. sadly. They're small but perky. Yeah. <laughs> but I keep that's what I keep telling myself. Yeah. Least, you know. Hello. Hi Brian, I'm calling from the corporate office with Lowe's. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm great, thanks. Reason for the call, I was actually alerted to your file by my social media team. I understand that you'd reached out to them with a complaint? Uh, yeah, and I was, I mean, all that came of it was, oh, we see that your delivery's been rescheduled. Let us know if there's anything else we could do. And, and it, like, it, the problem wasn't solved, it was just... Well, tell me, tell me, tell me what actually happened. Tell me from sort of the start what's been going on. Well, it was uh, the the dryer was supposed to be delivered last Monday, and so I was home and I was waiting, and it didn't show up within the window, 
And then I tried calling the store. They told me I had to call somebody else. Whoever I called told me I needed to call the distribution center. They gave me a number that literally went to a disconnected line. Uh, so that didn't really do anything. And I had to chase people down. I got one store associate saying he was sending an email escalating things to management. I never heard anything back on that, even though I was CC'd on the email. So I know it was sent. And then eventually somebody was able to figure out that they just didn't put my my dryer on the truck. And nobody thought it was a good idea to tell me that. So I like, had to get the information sort of third hand. So it had to be rescheduled. And, you know, once it was rescheduled, it was delivered on time and, and, and set up well. But it's just the amount of hoops I had to jump through just to get somebody to tell me where the dryer was was kind of insane. Wait, so you actually have the the dryer now and it's all working, is it? Yeah, I have the dryer now, but it was just a matter of like I had to, like I had to do all the legwork of figuring out what was even going on because nobody was communicating anything to me. Oh gosh, but but essentially the the, the complaint is resolved though. Everything's everything's fine now. Yeah, I mean, no, I don't have anything outstanding other than no, I just this is this is the second time I've bought an appliance from Lowe's and the washer that I bought last year arrived dented as if somebody had kicked it. So it just seems to be an ongoing thing whenever I deal with Lowe's that I will have headaches, and it's just unfortunate. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry, Tia. I am going to mark this as resolved since you do have the dryer. We would appreciate if you could delete the tweet because obviously it's quite sort of defamatory towards the company, and we don't want to have to look at taking any legal action because of that. So if you could just uh, delete the tweet, that would be Excuse great. Excuse me? You're threatening me with legal action because of what no, I No, 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 of course I'm not, I'm not it's threatening you. It's accurate, and I can prove that it's accurate. So I don't think you need to be threatening me with this is really what you called to do is make the situation worse. Well wow. no, I'm obviously not trying to make the situation proof, worse, but I mean you proof of your company's just lack of customer service this is insane. Ma'am, please, we just want to make sure that the the situation Why is Why did you call me ma'am? Why did you just call me ma'am? Oh gosh. What, what was that intended to do? I'm so sorry I meant so. Um look, if, if you could just take the tweet down, it'll go a lot easier for us both. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, you are threatening me now, and I'm recording this call. Of so, course, of like, course not, sir. But you've you've me. you've made a very defamatory you tweet. Have now it, it's, it's not defamatory. Defamation. It actually happened to me. No, 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 sir. It, it contains happened. defamatory information. I've been advised by my supervisor that you're not allowed to say that. You know, you said that we were the the winner of the worst customer service ever award, which isn't. That's my opinion, and you that cannot isn't, regulate my opinion on my personal Twitter account. Yeah, but it's factually incorrect, sir. We were not the winner of the it's worst not, customer service opinion. award. There on was no my personal Twitter. There was no there was no such award ceremony, sir. And <laughs> if there was, it, it's slanderous, <laughs> sir. It's sir. You <laughs> enjoyed that too much. I'm gonna. Yeah. Charge him for slander. <laughs> There's no, slander s- is- no such award show. <laughs> There's no such award, sir. Your call has been forwarded. Ah, I was sort of threatening him in a roundabout way. <laughs> Serve him a legal paper. This will go a lot easier if you just delete the tweet. Yeah. This would go a lot easier for you, sir. Uh, this guy's having a problem with Sling. Are they still <gasps> in business? Sling? They, what did they do at Sling? They used to make this little box that you plugged into your TV. Oh, a Sling box, yeah! And it used to let you stream all your video files, and yeah. and then they changed it to where it was just became like an IPTV box, right? Where, uh, But I thought, I didn't even know they were still in business. I thought they, I remember them from like fucking the year 2000-ish, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure... Yeah. Hey, on that note, Netflix just discontinued their rental DVD. I saw that, and I saw that in the news. Did anyone know they were still doing that? Because I didn't know they were still doing that. I uh, don't think they even know they were doing it. Apparently, apparently, it was for people who live where you can't get good enough internet to, to stream. So they were still mailing out DVDs, which is crazy. But would they have mail if they don't have internet? You know. Well, like, I guess so. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be a very so. crappy system. <laughs> <laughs> Be like paying all this money and stuff. So not- anyway, this yeah. guy's trying to watch the cricket highlights on his Sling app, so he's definitely old. We know. Ah oh, no! Oh. After all that build up, all that- is that number got too many digits? All right, looks. Ah, uh, uh, that's it. Uh, <laughs> We're sorry, your call cannot be completed.
No. Oh. I think they replaced by Plex servers and things like that, too. Yeah, I mean, nobody's got a sling box anymore. Jack had one. Yeah, I had one. The little... When they're like the weird red, red brick-shaped things. You remember? Ah. Huh. Oh, they look like a little red Lego brick. Huh. The one that I had, uh, anyway. Hmm. And it let you stream all your alleged movies yourself. Yeah. Your private copy of movies. Private movies. My private home movies. <laughs> that sounds so sexual. It was meant to. <clears throat> uh. oh. <laughs> I'm just imagining what if that delivery driver turns up now with the suitcase? <laughs> She's just hysterical. <laughs> yeah. You know, the thing is, when you wanted the DVD, you had to order it online. So that defeats the purpose. True. Well, no, <laughs> you can use the website, I guess. It's just not fast enough for streaming. It just yeah, takes no. 10 minutes to order the DVD. But I like to think that you had to order it, but you don't have internet, therefore you cannot use it, so... You have to phone, you have to phone up and order them. <laughs> you have to tell them what movies you want. <laughs> and then they go and look for them in a big box. Yes. It's just a big box of DVDs, and they go digging through it. <laughs> there used to have, like, a Netflix machine, like, you, where you can rent DVDs. I remember those, and people remember always those? used to not put the disc back in, so then you'd go... You, do you remember? You'd go you'd go to get a movie, and you'd get an empty case. Do you remember that? No, I didn't know that one. People used to copy oh. the DVD and put the copy in the, uh... Yeah, so, like, every now and then you'd rent a movie, and you'd get a pirate copy of it. <laughs> It doesn't work like that. Oh, that's the crazy. The Google Fi subscriber you have called is not available. Oh, shit. This guy's complaining about Google Fiber. It's definitely him, because it says Google Fiber on his voicemail. Yeah, probably. The red box. Yeah, that's right, Jack the Bunk. Remember when Amazon used to sell books only? Ooh, that's a long time ago. Second-hand books. <laughs> Uh, did they start it with second hand? Yeah. Ah, I thought it was brand new books. No, the whole point was like you could sell your old books. Ah, uh, it evolved, right? The Google it evolved. Subscriber you have called I'm pretty sure they sold way more second hand books than new books. Huh. And now they mostly sell junk that the Chinese make. Yeah, probably. It's a fucking nightmare. You go on there and try and buy something like a USB hub or something regular, and you're gonna get some... some weird Chinese fucking handmade a thing. A pair of sunglasses. Yeah, a pair of sunglasses <laughs> and a... And an umbrella. And an umbrella. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one terabyte USB stick. Yep. For the they got all, the, all that shit on there still. Yeah. I'm surprised it don't crack Hello? down. Hello? Oh, hi, it's Ron calling from FedEx. Can I speak to Toby, please? This is Toby. Hi, Toby. Reason for the call, I actually work at the Corporate Liaison Information Team. Uh, I was actually passed your file by my social media division. I understand you reached out to them with a complaint? Yes, and they were making me a little bit crazy. Oh, gosh, tell me what happened. <laughs> So I ordered supplies. We have a small winery. I just needed the laser printer label to send out my wine club shipments. And I ordered them through fulfillment, and they're, it's still sitting there, and it's been 10 days. Oh, my gosh. So it's still at the fulfillment center. <clears throat> yeah. And when I... And when I reached out on social media they're like well you should contact the shipper and i'm like you are the shipper <laughs> i was just like uh and then you know they wanted all of my information and so i did email or i did message with with our company name and zip code and all of that and and then that's when they said well it's it's i see the tracking number but it's still at the shipper's contact yeah. the shipper and I'm just like I give up 
Yeah, no, I see that it's been sitting in one of our fulfillment centers for quite a while now. Um, what I'd uh, what I'd really like to do is, while you're on the phone, is give them a call and find out if we can maybe uh, uh, just get things moving along. Okay, uh, well, I already just printed out with regular paper and had to chase down a couple hundred labels, so oh, that didn't make gosh. me very happy. <laughs> no, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry for all the inconvenience. Um, and I'm, I did try calling the call center originally, um, and that was a fiasco. And it's not, um, I worked for FedEx for six years, so I understand how it works, and what I was asking was not unreasonable. No, absolutely, uh, absolutely. Um, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place a call to the fulfillment center where it's located, and just okay. find out why things aren't moving along and just see if we can make some arrangement. Um, so these are just labels for a, a laser printer, you said, just blank. Yes, they're the eight and a half by 11 where half of it peels off with the tracking number and right. shipping info. And you, need, and you need these for your <laughs> business, right, I assume? Yes. Oh, yes. gosh, okay. I mean, I, I don't need them as urgently now because I had to, I already told you. Um, sure, but I do but, need them. Yeah, and we also need to find out why they've got, kind of ground to a halt throughout the process. So uh, let me just give the fulfillment center a call and hopefully we can get to the bottom of this. Bear with me a moment. Okay, thank you. Hi, it's uh, Ron calling from the FedEx Corporate Liaison Information Team. Who am I speaking with? Scobie, I can help you. Hi, Scobie. Are you one of the managers over there? I am a manager. Yes, sir. Okay, I've got a package that has been, uh, I guess, stuck with you guys for 10 days now with no movement. Can I give you an internal tracking number? Can you uh, look it up for me? Number. What's the number? So the internal corporate tracking number is 8008569420104201 Ah, uh, it's the labels. Are they labels? Yeah, labels. Yeah. So do you have those over there? Yeah, yeah. We have Okay. I was just wondering, is there any way we can get a rush on those being delivered? Is there any way... If you have easy access to them, could you maybe get someone to take them out tonight? I mean, can we... Can you give us a couple of days here? We're, we're pretty backed up at the moment. Is no, I, an emergency? I, I, I understand, but it's for a business, and they've been waiting 10 days now with no movement. So you, you guys really need to kind of get this, it together over there. Go on. They, can wait, they can wait a couple more fucking days, you know? Well, uh, it's a business. I'm sure they'll be fine. The, the lady's on the phone with us right now, Mr. Scobie, and I would appreciate if you could just get those out tonight. Who's on the phone? The, the customer is on the phone. Ma'am, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you loud and clearly. Yeah, this is Mr. Scobie from the Fulfillment Center. Yes. Yes, ma'am. How, how are you doing today? Well, I'm a little frustrated with you guys. <laughs> I just needed some shipping labels, and it's been 10 days. Okay, why... Did you... I don't, I don't understand why I'm being contacted by, by Ron here. Um, because no one has been able to give me an answer why they're just sitting there. Who have you contacted directly, Matt? I've called the 1-800-GO-FEDEX a few times. Okay, I could possibly see, uh, maybe I can get one of my drivers out there tonight if that's, is that okay? Well, I mean, you can't, I'm... I, no, I'm I'm in Oregon. I just want them shipped out to me. I just need someone to put a label on them and send them to me. It's customer me supplies. Can... 
I'm a customer. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, these are our labels, Mr. Scobie. If you could kind of, you know, just do your job over there, we'd appreciate it. What do you mean, do my job? I've been doing my job for over 20 years. Right, well, uh, clearly there's, you know, some kind of problem but here. I, I, wait, I would like to say, I understand. I worked for FedEx at over in Washington for six years. Ugh. I understand. But Shit I also hole. am a customer, and... I just want some labels. Ma'am, with all due respect, okay, you're a female, you know, you, you all do different work than we do over here. As you can hear, uh, you know, things are a little bit busy. You know, we, 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 we get our job done, okay? Every I'm a female? I was, I was a courier for six years. I busted my butt. Don't even. Yeah, that I'm sure you busted your butt. That's exactly what you unnecessary. Jesus Christ. Are your knees okay? Um, I mean, I, I'm going to do, like I'm gonna to do what I can. Complaint. I would like to file a complaint. You are. You've already done that. You just. You, you, you've already done that. Me like you would not believe. How did I insult you? What did I say that insulted you? You said that I'm a woman and that I'm on my knees. What else would you do there, ma'am? I'm very confused. You said that you are on working for six knees? years, correct? On my knees? Hey, look, I had a... Yes? You, you were a are company you, for... Are you implying, like, sexual favors on my knees? What are you talking of about? Of course! What else would you be doing? This is insane. There's no, there's no dishes to wash there, as far as I know. I mean, I, I don't understand what, what we're doing here, ma'am. Let me see if I can get to, when I can get this shipped out to you. Give me a moment. Fucking bitch. Okay, are you still there, corporate guy? Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm just here monitoring the call. Um, I would like to file a complaint. Okay. Needless, needless <clears throat> to say, that is insane. I've never. I've never been spoken to like that in my life. So you want to file a, a formal complaint against Mr. Scobie? You bet I do. Absolutely. Okay. You can do what you want to do. Nothing's going to happen to me. <laughs> but whatever. We'll do, do, do what you feel you need to do, ma'am. Do what you feel you need to do. Okay, well, look. Uh, what I'd like to do, because this lady has requested to m now make this formal, I'm going to have to bring in Hazel from the senior VP team, okay? Um... Ma'am, is it okay if I put you on a very brief hold while I get my supervisor, Hazel, in here? Sure. Okay, um, so you're going to hear some music and I'll, I'll... Just don't leave me with, um, with that pig. Um, I, I think he hung up. I think that the line went dead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you on hold and I'm going to get Hazel. It should only take one minute, so just please bear with okay. me, okay? One, one moment you. here. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Just call me a pig, you fat bitch. You know, you have the goddamn nerve. Disturb me. I'm doing everything I can on my end to go ahead and get these labels out to you. And you fat bitch, you had the nerve to sit there and insult me in front of my fucking co-worker like that. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I didn't insult you. I was making a... What else would you do? You were down on your knees sucking some damn dick. That's all you women do these days. You don't earn it. You don't earn it. You're giving things, stupid women. You don't earn shit. Fucking morons. Call me a fucking pig. Fucking fat cow, I seen you. I seen your fucking picture. I seen your little profile that got over here of you. I seen the fucking complaint. I knew your bitch ass was gonna be calling and fucking filing complaints doing some bullshit like this. You're a fucking cunt, you know that? Talking shit to me. Stupid woman. Fucking brain dick bitch. I'm gonna cancel your fucking order. I'm not doing shit. 
I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna send it. I'm not doing the damn thing. I'm canceling this shit. This shit is done. Your order's done. You still there, bitch? Oh, I'm here. Why the fuck you going up? Why are you talking shit to me? Why am I talking shit to you? Yeah, why? I called you a pig because you said that I should be on... What did I do at FedEx? I was on my knees sucking dick. That's why. Okay, did you enjoy it? I'm sure you enjoyed it. You wouldn't have stayed there that long. What's your name? Bobby? The f I'm not giving you my fucking name. Well, we already have your name. Did you enjoy it? Did they even promote you? You must you must be horrible giving head. What, you one of those types that get scared to come? You don't like a little stickiness? Is that what it is? You don't like the taste? Get the fuck out of here. How much so do you weigh, by the way? So you're saying all of this to me because I wanted my shipping labels? No, ma'am, I'm not saying all that because you wanted your shipping labels. I'm saying all that because you're a fucking bitch. That's why I'm saying that. You're not polite at all. You're, well, fuck, you're very so mean. So you're very so mean. You, you're stuck so you up. Called me a bitch. <laughs> I've done nothing wrong. Oh. You're fucking. You, you're, you're horrible. You're. You, like I said, you're not getting these labels. Like I promise, you're not getting these labels. I promise. there, this is Hazel from the Corporate Liaison Team. How may I help you? Hey, Hi, Hazel. Uh, how you doing uh, today? I just wanted to go ahead uh, and uh, there was a, a brief issue that we had uh, here. Uh, sorry. Uh, we're getting can, everything can, can you, fixed. Who, whom am I speaking to? Who, who is this? My name is Scobie. Oh, hi, Scobie. Hi, I thought it was you. Hi. And who, hey. who is the customer yeah. on the line too? Yes. Yes, uh, I, I believe that uh, she, she dropped off the line. Oh no, she's on the line, and I'm here to help. So what? So what? Is, so what's going on? So uh, I there was a brief from... issue with the young lady here. We, we okay. uh, Toby, kindly we uh, fixed everything. I'm getting her labels out to her. Uh, oh, I, I told her I would have the labels out to her within the next 24 hours, and she's very pleased with that. Um, uh, so I think no. we're all good to go here, it's Hazel. Awesome. It was yeah. a pleasure speaking to you. Uh, I hope you have yourself a oh, lovely thank evening. You. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Madame yes, Scobie yes. is and, one of uh, our most one of our most dedicated workers, and I'm glad that he was able to assist you today. I know that if he got to the bottom of it, then I can mark this as resolved. Hazel, thank you, no. Hazel. You've been That's wonderful. Not. You've been lovely. These two that Hazel. they uh we're gonna send them a survey here so shortly, and I'm sure they're gonna give us oh. flying remarks. I couldn't uh, imagine you getting anything less, especially with all the fundraising that you've done this year. You're such such an asset to this company. We're so happy to have you. Thank and you. Ma'am, I'm so happy Wonderful. that we were able to resolve your problem today. No, I yeah, I, I did apologize oh, to her. Uh, there was there was a little mix up on our end. Uh, but again, I have those labels oh, all set to go. So hard. I'm to I'm yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, 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 stop. Both of you. Stop. Oh, another person. Hi. Okay. My name is Chris Duclo. My name is on, my name is on the account. Is this Federal Express? What is your name? My name is Chris Ducolo. Chris Federal Express. Chris Duke? Is this Federal what? Express? Go ahead. Hello. Hi. Please go ahead. So I may assist. Um, yeah, is this Federal Express? Yes, yes, this is Hazel at, at FedEx. Okay, Hazel, is it normal for employees and customer service to be calling their valued customers bitches? And when they're just asking for not. labels? And Get the asking and deleted. saying that I give head? Totally inappropriate. Are you just reciting song titles to me now? Uh, you're not making any sense. 
Okay. I'm going to call so him. Hazel, yeah, there was an issue that these two had do. with one of okay. our uh, associates, but I went ahead and filed a complaint against that individual, Hazel. So I have I have it all squared away. He's just, you know, the gentleman here is just covering everything. Don't worry. Uh, Hazel, Hazel, I, I got it all uh, Hazel, it's Ron. It, oh, Hazel, it's Ron in customer service. I made oh, the initial goodness. call. And I, I think Mr. Scobie has been a little bit disingenuous here. The lady on the phone wanted to make a formal complaint against him. That's the reason for the call. Is that correct, ma'am? Oh. Yes. Okay. You, oh, my goodness. Me. Wow. Oh, I, okay. Your, your, that, your, phone that line is, your phone line is a little bit quiet, ma'am. You may need to, get, to get, closer, you get closer to the microphone, but you need to be a little bit louder and just tell Hazel what happened. Um, Hazel, are you going to listen to what I have to say? Yes, of course. That's why I'm here. Just go ahead, ma'am. Hazel okay. is on the line and we're, she, I can assure you she is listening. Well, you I just tell like her what happened in your own words and in your own was, time. Just tell her what happened. So go ahead whenever called, you're ready. And you we'll just listen me. and take notes. You called ahead, me please. from I'm FedEx. Help. Thank you. Go ahead. Hello? So I was just trying to find out where my package is, and the gentleman called me from FedEx, and I told him that it's been sitting in fulfillment for 10 days. It's All it is is 8 and a half by 11 laser sheets that I need for my labels. So he said he would put me on hold and eight and a half by 11. She's getting confused about her previous job, at her previous position down on her knees. That is what's happening right now at the moment. She's confused, Hazel. Are you, okay, are you hearing what he said? I'm I'm trying to listen to you, ma'am, so please continue. So then Scovey started in with um because I said I'm not trying to be a difficult customer. I get it. I worked for FedEx for six years and he said, What could you have possibly done at FedEx? Were you on your knees? Did you give head? Did you like giving head? And I never said that. Those words never came out of my mouth. Um, I have it coming in mouth. My husband heard it too, so you're wrong. Um, Your husband, Mr. Dukey. That is why. That is why I wanted to file a complaint because not only did he call me a bitch, he made reference to the only job that I could have done for FedEx was giving head um, because they don't have any dishes to wash. So it had to have been giving head. Oh, dude, I like giving head, or is it too sticky? Some. What did you say? Like did you say sticky. I like giving head? No, I, he said. She does. Do she I was like staring like that head. conversation in that direction. I was I only never, trying to keep the proper question. I was only trying to I figure out where her. Well, look, 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 guys, guys, guys. Over. Guys, if we can calm it down and let's just watch the cross talk. We may need to get the husband back in here. Can you confirm that, sir? Does she like giving head? Did you hear what she said? Yeah. Got Mr. Dukey no, back on the line. She likes giving head. Is that what you... Excuse me? <laughs> he said yes! <laughs> I thought that was a soundboard! <laughs> no, that was him! He said oh, yes! Too. He said oh yes! Let's call him back, let's call him back. Uh... Hello. Hello. Hi. I think we got disconnected. Hello. Hello. Hi there. I'm here to help, and and I want to understand the conversation. Okay. Did you answer yes to so the last you, question? Go ahead. Will you please re Will you please repeat the question? Yeah. So okay. so did the gentleman say to you say to your wife? Did he ask her if she likes giving head? That was the question. It, yes. Okay, okay, there we go. Sorry about the, the confusion there. So then, and, and then what else happened? What happened then? Um, I was just quiet. I was not answering him. Hmm. I'm sorry, did you, say okay. you, did you say you were crying? No, I said I was just quiet. I was not saying anything because I'm in shock that someone is speaking like that. Oh, yeah, no, it is. I mean, these these guys... A warehouse. Yeah, I mean, it is a warehouse. We have some you know real like, blue-collar guys in... Not boys. This is not boys will be boys. No. 
No. no. You do no? not call people bitch. You do not ask them if they give ad. Um, well, no, absolutely, sir. He should like, not. He should not I have don't. asked. He should not we have don't. asked her that question, sir. And I believe you said that he strongly implied that the answer to that question was yes. Is that right? Yes. Well, so, yeah. he said we need either, to we need to confirm that. from a legal standpoint whether whether he was lying, whether he was commit, you know, whether that was a slanderous remark because that is actually you know unlawful for him to do so. So it may yes, be a little bit uncomfortable, but I I. I do need yes, to know, yes, ma'am, just for yes. the record, do you do you like giving head, or is that incorrect? Did you just ask that? Yes. I need to know if he was committing slander or not, so I'm going to need confirmation. Okay, you guys... Wait, 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 something's wrong. Are you really from Federal Express, or is this like a joke? No, yes. sir, of course, sir. sir this, is, this is not a joke, sir, and I apologize that this is a little bit um, off-color... It's um, just that from a legal standpoint, a like from a legal oh, standpoint, if he no, made no, a no, statement no, no, no. that... It's just wrong. You, you know, that, that has to, just asking that question and calling the customer a bitch has to violate about 20 different corporate guidelines at Federal Express. You'd so, be surprised, you know sir. Since the, the since the whole COVID thing, we've had to throw out a lot of the corporate guidelines, I'm afraid, I just mean, in order to... Know, I mean, it's, or it's does it, though? Does it really? Or not, it's... It's, it? it's very um, important. We do need what? we do need to know if your wife likes giving head, sir, for the record. No. Maybe she, she no. just tossed salad all day. She doesn't. Know. According to the husband, he she doesn't. Okay, so that is a defamatory remark that he made. <laughs> he said no. He changed his mind. Uh all right, we better we better move on from them. Complaint resolved. That was, uh, yeah, that was that one. Oh, the next one's about FedEx as well. Bitch. Whoa! Sir, you're not even on the phone anymore. You need to calm down. Bitch. Stop yeah. it! Stop it! Bitch. Did, no! Don't say that about me. Did you give head? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Will you two stop it? Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Uh, that's why they're so angry. She doesn't like giving head and she's always bitching about her labels. Uh, this lady says the Sunday delivery driver took her package to the wrong address and now it's missing. Tyrone, you got- you got a free... whatever she ordered, okay? Get ready, Tyrone. Hello? Hi, good afternoon, ma'am. I'm calling from the corporate liaison team with FedEx. How are you doing? Okay, how are you? I'm real good, thanks. Reason for the call is I was actually alerted to your case by my social media team. I understand you had reached out to them with a complaint? Yes. What happened? Um, my, our Sunday driver seems to not get where my house is, and he typically takes things across the street to the business across the street. On Sundays, which is a problem, but normally it's Sam's Club orders and things like that where when my package has been delivered, I get an alert on my phone right away and I know that, like, to go outside and look for my package and say, oh, it's not here, and then look across the street and say, oh, it's over there and go get it. Right. Well, yesterday I had um, prescriptions for my pet. They were coming from a pet pharmacy, um, and, and they weren't even supposed to be delivered until the 27th, so I'm happy they were here early, but... I apparently got a no an email notification with a picture at like 10 a.m. that my my package had been delivered, but yeah. I didn't know because it wasn't like an instant alert. So I sat down and looked at email at like 5 o'clock and realized, oh, my God, her package got delivered across the street again. Well, it wasn't there anymore because someone from the business had come and picked it up outside and took it in the building. Okay. Is, as it turned out. So, like... And I mean, it was ongoing, and it wasn't for the Sam's Club stuff and like that. That's fine, but like, this was four hundred and twenty dollars worth of pet prescriptions that my pet needed. So, oh my gosh, that's I'm when sorry. I'm kind of like, that. okay, like. And so this package really, is this package is missing currently. No, as it turns out, I contacted the business this morning, and they said yes, they had it, and so I was going to go pick it up after work. From there, no big deal. But apparently, someone from FedEx came and picked it up from the business and brought it over across the street to my house for me while while I was still at work. Now, I think that was my driver. Did you happen to catch the name of the driver? 
Uh, no, I honestly don't because I just called it, I called the business across the street to tell them, thank you for bringing my package over here for me. So I didn't have to come pick it up. And they said, oh no, FedEx came and got it and they brought it over to you. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. It looks like our driver, Alex, went back out there. Now it looks like you usually have a different driver on Sunday. Uh, it's a Russian gentleman called Alex. What I'd like to do is just patch him into the call. Um, now that you've got the package, I just want to make sure that in future with the deliveries, he's delivering to the right place and not leaving them across the street and that kind of thing. Um, that's usually the best way to get because I, I see that he is scheduled to work every Sunday. Um, and I want to make yeah, sure I that... I don't know if he's been the normal driver for like months because this is the first time in like a few months that this has actually happened. Okay. Um, it looks like he's a fairly new driver, to be honest. He's new to that uh, route. So... What I'm going to do, I'm going to patch in Alex and uh, okay. we'll just uh, we'll make sure that he's clear on where exactly you want the package dropped. Bear with me a second here. Sure. Hello, this is Alex. Hi, Alex. It's Ron from Corporate. How are you? Very, very good. Uh, just calling in relation to a, uh, a package that you attempted to deliver yesterday. Um, and I think you know the one I mean, because you had to go back out there and re-deliver it, right, today? Yes, I'm going. I'm going right now. I'm going right now. No, 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 no. You already delivered the package. I've just got the customer on the phone, and she'd just like to speak to you about because uh, I see that you're doing the Sunday deliveries for her street. Yes, and yes, and I'm going. I got delivery right now. I go there. No, 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 no. They, you, you've already got the delivery, right, ma'am? This is for her. Yeah, I've got everything. Yeah, I've got everything now. Okay. I got it. Someone brought it over here today for me. So yeah, it's, yeah it's that, was a, that was Alex. He's on the phone now. So if you can just let him okay. know where you want the deliveries made in the future, that'd be great. Um, if you could bring them to the back porch, it's like wooden back steps under a big awning. That would be perfect because that keeps them dry and it keeps them protected from people seeing them from the street and just coming and taking them. Oh, you can do the, the back. No, no, you cannot do it in the back. Scary place over there in the back. No. Only in the front. It's wide open. No, no, it's no. Wide open. Only, only in the front. Not in the back. Back very scary. There is a docks, and there is some. I'm a, this is you're thinking of the wrong house. Then I don't. I, my dog stays in the house. My dog's only outside if I'm outside. She's yeah, blind. Yeah, I see. She can't I see be outside dog. by herself. Yeah, he's looking looking at me very scary on the window. Yes, I know. Dog. My scary. dog doesn't look out the window. She can't see. I saw where she My dog at me. stays in the bed on the floor. She's a dachshund. She's a tiny little dog that stays on the bed on the floor. So you're probably thinking of the wrong house because I do not have a big dog or a scary dog. And she's not outside by herself. Yes, I came there. And my and backyard, I tried, I, my backyard I, is on a side street. You can see everything in my backyard from the street. It's wide open. I tried so this to can't bring possibly the, be the I same tried house. To bring the, yes, it's the same house I tried to bring the other day. And there was scary. I had to leave it across the street, the other business, okay? On a Sunday morning, yesterday morning, there was no yes. one outside. Yes. My dog there doesn't was be outside. She doesn't look out the window. She's blind. She stays the on dog. the floor. She can't even get there to was, the window. There was an old lady with her tits out on the window, and I got scared. I had to run and leave the package across the street. An old lady? Uh, yes, on the window. With very There's low no tits. old lady here. I, I don't. I, we must be thinking of different houses. This doesn't make sense to me. No, no, no. It's your house. You, you, you were under the window yesterday. No. Who was at the window? There was no one at the window. My windows had blinds on all of them. You can't even see in my house. Yeah, there was the window, the front window. The blinds were up my and there was a old lady. Had no, my front window blinds are never up. We live on a main road, but those blinds are never open and never up. Yes, but they were up yesterday. I saw them. 
No, they absolutely were not up yesterday, sir. They are down all the time. We must be thinking of a different house because yep. my house, the front window blinds are never open. We live on the main road. We keep them closed. Uh, for I know. I purposes. remember. I remember. I remember the house. And you, you, you were in what the house yesterday. What color is my house? I don't know. One of the light colors. I don't know. I don't know what the color the is color. my? You say you remember my house. The ten beige, whatever you call it, gray something. I don't know how you call cover here. But in my language, you call my it. My backyard is not scary. It's wide open. I don't have a big dog. Not There's the no dog. There's no big dog over there here. There was an old lady, scary lady on the window. Not the dog. Not at my house. My house, we don't have a big dog. There's no scary lady in the window. Oh all the blinds are down all the time. I think I saw you yesterday. You were at the window. You probably didn't see me because I don't look out the window. We keep them closed for a reason. Why you keep them close? You scared? Because we live on a main road and for privacy purposes, we keep them closed. Do you wear makeup? No, I absolutely do not wear makeup. Yeah, so it must have no, been I you on not. the window. Do you have Do you have a low tits, long tits? <sighs> What's that? Is your tits long? What What does that mean? Are they long? When you let them, when you set them free, are they long? No, sir, they are not. So who was the lady with the long tits at your house yesterday? There's nobody at my house yesterday except me and my husband. So you're going to the wrong house to begin with, obviously. You weren't yeah, even at my uh, house the first time. Alex, you were being a little bit inappropriate there. Let's <clears throat> let's try and be professional, please, Alex. Okay, he wasn't even at the right house the first time, sir. So, like, this yeah. is getting to be pointless speak, now. We can, speak I can slow, see that we're not slow. going to be able to get my packages accomplished, delivered She's to my house. She's speaking too fast. I don't understand, okay? But I'm going to the house. Like, no, I you don't deliver. You don't need to go to the house. You've already the package is already there. Yes, I'm going house right now, okay? No, 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 don't you worry. no, 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 no. Don't don't go over there. Uh. GPS say 7 minutes, okay? I'll be there. Yeah, ma'am. Ma well, then you're probably going to what where, what address <coughs> are you coming to? The GPS say 7 minutes, okay? What address? Be very best to be, be English. I don't speak English very good. Okay, seven minutes, I deliver, okay? What address? I don't understand. I don't know what that one must say. According to the GPS, Three. Mammy, is, he is about five minutes away from you now, so I guess he's... I guess if he comes over there, you can show him where to leave the package. Would that be okay? No, I really don't want to deal with this anymore. Not after I've been insulted on the phone. I... Yeah, my house, there is no big dog. There's no scary lady. I don't wear makeup. I don't have big boobs. And I don't have a big dog. <laughs> I say long boobs, not big boobs. Okay. Very different things. Yeah, Alex, you don't need to go over there. I can see you're heading to the house now. Don't don't go over there, please. Yes, I go deliver a package, okay? There is no package, There's Alex. There's no more package to deliver. I, I have, have package. my package now. I deliver one more, okay? I don't believe I have any more packages for being delivered to my house. I have. I have here. It. I got one long package, okay? I bring. Oh. Well, then leave it on the back steps. Don't leave it across the street of the business. Don't leave it in the front street. I'm going to stay in the house because I don't want to get involved in any more of this mess. You're not going to look on the window, are you? No, I'm not going to look on the window. I'm going to sit on my couch where you can't see in the front window of my house. I have nothing. I want nothing to do with this. I'm going to knock on the door, okay? I come you inside. can do whatever you want. I want nothing to do with this. I don't uh, I, have any more packages that I'm expecting, so I don't know what package you're bringing. I come inside. We talk and make some tea, okay? No, uh, no, absolutely not. Yes, yes, yes. I'll be there four minutes, okay? You can come here and deliver whatever package you want to my steps. I'm not speaking to you. Just leave the package and go. Why not speaking to me? Because I don't speak good English? 
That's no, what? because I don't want to deal with this anymore. Sir from corporate FedEx, can you deal with this now from now on? Because I am, I'm done with this. Ma'am, can you just stay on the line? Because he, he, he is about three minutes from your house, and I don't think he's understanding me. Alex? Yes, Alex, yes. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Delivery, delivery. Okay, can you just leave the package uh, around the back, or I'll just... On yeah, the, I go on inside, and now our, our lady say... Leave it on the couch. I go inside, leave it on the couch, okay? No, uh, That's not what I just said. Ma'am, did you want him to leave it on the couch? Where do you want him to leave it? No, I want it on my back steps by the back door. She wants it in her back door, Alex. Is her back door that big? Can that fit package? How big is your back door, ma'am? Okay, you know what? This is really inappropriate now, and I don't really believe you're from corporate FedEx anymore. Well, of course we are, ma'am. I'm just trying to, you know, you'd made a complaint against I drive Alex. her. I, me driving. I, I'm not corporate. I drive. I bring package and I leave it on the couch, okay? No, you... <laughs> I go and drop package in the back door, okay? On the couch. No. Where do you want him to drop the package, ma'am? I want it left on the back steps. The wooden back steps of my house. I don't understand what she say. I understand couch. I go bring package couch, okay? No, no, no. Back steps. Back. You understand steps. Steps. Stairs. Oh, no. He's not understanding me. Yes, and uh, I, I go. I go in the back door, okay? Okay, he's about two minutes away, ma'am. Could you maybe meet him outside? Would that be easier? My husband is going outside. I don't want to deal with this. Uh-oh. Her husband is coming outside, Alex. You understand? You understand? The husband and on the couch? Okay, I give it to him on the couch. So ma'am, he's gonna give it to you in your back doors. Is is that right? On the couch. Yes. He's gonna give it to you on the couch, ma'am. In your back door. Right? While your husband watches. Is that have we got that right? Ma'am? <laughs> I don't know what her problem was. You were just trying to help deliver the package that she didn't want. Uh, we have Good people. I know, right? Poor Alex is do uh, doing everything he can to help these people, and they're never happy. Never happy. Um, we have like five minutes, right, until Boob Lady is going to make an appearance. Are we all excited for that? The number you are trying to dial. Let's see what these people are doing. Accepted. Muted. Or disease. So we abstain from negative thinking. Those of us who work the health program concepts use the following guidelines for food plans. One, we do not write our own food plan. We use a food plan given to us by a doctor, nutritionist, or dietitian. We discuss it with our sponsor. We do not pick one that allows any of our orange foods. If some food on our plan becomes a problem, unmuted. One, two, we do one. not skip meals. Hello? One, two, one. Do not skip meals. <laughs> yes, I got with the number. One, one. <laughs> she was like two. One. <laughs> got him. Got him. That was perfect. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you for calling. If you are the moderator, there are currently twenty-eight other participants in the conference. Here. You are now unmuted. One, we do not write our own food plan. Oh. We use a food plan oh, given to us by a doctor, you nutritionist, or dietitian. God damn it. All right. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I got, I got a fresh one coming. WWE shop. Okay. Welcome and thank you. Muted. It'd be really what the whole family... Unmuted. That's the way they One, dealt. We do not write our other. own food plan. We use a food plan given to us by a doctor, nutritionist, or dietitian. Excuse me. 
Excuse me, we're in the meeting right now. Those of us who work the hot program concepts use the following kind of <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> WWE shop. Holy fuck. That might end up being relevant. Whatever he buys, let's berate whoever fucking superstar that is. Yep. He better not be buying Logan Paul merch. Is he in WWE now? Should, should I threaten to suplex him? For complaining. Oh! Maybe the second number, maybe the second number. Yeah, Logan Paul's fucking running the WWE now. I know. Is it? Yeah. It's just even more reason not to watch it. If he didn't buy it. Said it before and I'll say it again. Wrestling hasn't been good since 1993. Deal with it. Your call has been forwarded to an Hello, it's Nick. Oh, hi. I was calling for uh, Matthew, actually. I'm calling from WWE Store. Is Matthew available? Who? Matthew? You don't know Matthew? No, oh, Matthew here, man. Okay, well, could you take me off your list and don't call here again, please? You called me. Yeah, take me off your list, please. I don't want any more sales calls from you. Thank you. What are you talking about? You called me. Dumbass salespeople. Yeah, whatever, scammer. Whatever. Just lose my number, yeah? Dickhead. What are you talking about? What are you lose talking Lose my about? number, idiot. What's... God, I don't even know. Where are fucking... you fucking man? Are yeah, you Australian? Little bitch working in some call center. Just quit calling my fucking house, all right? Idiot. Really? Hey, yeah, man, asshole. another one of these fucking relax. dickhead salesmen on the phone. Always wasting our time. <laughs> Take us, anger, take us off your list. I'll show you anger. I'll show you anger all over your face. Me and my buddy will come over there. Yeah, please do, man. No, I'll fuck I'll you up. Fucking, ass. fucking Nick. Let's <laughs> suplex relaxed, you. Man. Shut up, Nick. Nick the dick. <laughs> Nick the dick. Fuck off, Nick. Okay, man. You have a good day, right? Fuck you. I hate you. Oh, Hold me. Ah, don't call here again, idiot. We don't want any stupid you sales call, calls. I'm not call gonna me. I'm not gonna buy things off dude, some little goofball on the phone, am I? I don't work for a sales company, dude. Well stop calling here call. then. Whatever you're selling, I'm not interested, okay? Just stop calling. Idiot, stupid. Okay, man. Stupid ignorant prick. Okay. Wanker. Fuck off. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. That was like a fake Jeff laugh, yeah. <laughs> time. Boob time. Is it boob time? Yes, it is. You were supposed to say tits or something. Oh, was I? Yeah. Let me do it again. Tits. There we go. I'm coming to get you, Jeff. Ah, oh, there he goes. I think that bitch made it <clears throat> home. She better have done because we are about to AI verify her. Alright, let's hope she hasn't been spooked. So I just heard to go to goverify.click, right, Ray? <laughs> Oh, ta -ta, yes, Mr. Macron, that's correct. Oh, ta -ta, ta -ta, I'm Irish. He says yes. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Ray, everybody. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Let's get her. Let's get her. Uh-oh. Come on, ring. Ring. Come on, dialer. Hello? 
Hi, it's Ron calling from Adore Me. How are you doing? Yes, I'm fine. Great. Glad to hear that. Uh, I was just wondering if you were ready to try and uh, get this uh, matter with your account resolved. Yes. Okay, perfect. Are you near your computer right now? I will be in just one moment. Okay, great stuff. Uh, So is this the first time what? you've uh, you've ever made a purchase with us? Yes. Oh gosh. Well, I'm sorry you've had this experience, but we're going to get this uh, put right for you now. Okay. Um, yeah, I I have um I have two credit cards. They're both Chase credit cards, uh, and they wouldn't work. And I tried to add it to my profile, and that wouldn't work. And then I've got a Venmo debit card that I tried to use, and it wouldn't work. But then I realized my billing address with Venmo was out of date, so I had to fix that. Oh, okay. Right, that might, that but might anyway, be it. Um, I guess since the order didn't go through, you don't have, I don't have an order number. No, I, I, so what it is, I have access to your account now, so I can actually see um, some okay. of the items that you were trying to put in the shopping basket. Um, looks okay. like there were some very nice stockings in there, is that right? Yes. Yeah, no, I see that here. So um, it looks like there's been a security block put on the account because of too many a attempts to make a purchase with the incorrect <laughs> information. So that's no problem. I'm going to get okay. that removed once we get you verified. Um, so what we're okay. going to do, we're going to quickly go through the corporate verification system. So if you can open a uh, web browser for me. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, in the address bar, you're going to type goverify.click. So G O V E R I F Y dot C L I C K, and it might po it'll pop up with a little box saying allow or block. Make sure you press allow. Um, just to let you know, all calls are monitored and recorded and rebroadcast for training and quality purposes. Okay. Okay. So uh, just let me know once that comes up. Okay, there we yeah, are. Yeah. Yep. So I can see you on my screen. So this system won't ask for any personal information. Um, what it's okay. what it's going to do is just get, ask you to do a quick capture. So it's going to uh, uh, ask you to click on a few things. If you just go ahead and proceed with that. Okay. And you said you were size thirty-eight I. Is that right? What I'm seeing here in the basket. Yes. Oh wow, that's that's very impressive. I'll uh, I'll be honest with you. I've been very much. Uh, <laughs> Very much looking forward to uh, to uh, talking to you. <laughs> um, and you're being recorded, and you're fine with that, huh? Oh yeah. Well, nobody else can see it. Don't worry. And I can uh, I can delete things. You know, we uh, we're working. We're all working from home anyway, and it's not monitored or anything like that uh, for for privacy reasons. Gotcha. And they're really thirty eight I. Is that correct? Yep. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a seen an eye cup. Uh, could you maybe show me what you're working with there? <laughs> How you propose I do that? Uh, but if you just stand up a little bit, I'll probably be able to see. I can just see your head and shoulders right now, but I'm uh, I'm just right. I'm just kind of um, just kind of curious to what we're working with there. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to. This looks like an Escher painting. What's going on here? Oh gosh, yes, some of them. Of, is uh, it is it the one with the stars? Yep. Yeah, just uh it does go through this a few times, but uh Um Sorry, you can go ahead okay, and Okay, I can I can stand up. Oh my gosh, wow, those are those, those are great. Are you are you wearing anything under that jumper? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Let's uh if you want to remove the jumper, I can do a quick AI scan just to make sure that we're working with the correct size. It's actually one of the services is that we offer sure? here. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Is, is it really? Obviously, uh -huh. d don't don't go with any full frontal nudity or anything just for privacy. But uh, yeah, if you want to if you want to slip that jumper off, that'd be great. <laughs> well, where I'm wearing is the wrong size, so there's that. Oh gosh, let me let me see let me see what we're working with here. <laughs> Where are you located, anyway? 
Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm uh, I'm actually located in Southern California. Yeah, no, they're they're definitely an okay. eye cup. My goodness. <laughs> wow. That's uh that's uh very nice. Oh, ah. thank you. Whereabouts are you located? Utah. Oh, Utah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. A little bit Utah. of a drive, but uh yeah, I mean, maybe when your new order comes, I can I can come help you uh, make sure you got the right fit. <laughs> um, I have no response to that. Okay, well, uh, so it should be up to the block with the dogs now, if you want to go ahead and keep clicking on those. Yep. More stairs. More stairs. Okay, keep going. Uh... I don't, that's a tunnel, that's not stairs, but okay. Okay, which one do you see now? Uh, just the cows just went by, and now I've got traffic. Like, how many of these are there? I swear I've done like eight. Uh, just a few more, I think. Uh, so, is it onto the traffic lights? Now I'm at crosswalks. Huh. I did this one. Yeah, it looks like it's it's yeah. u- usually it's only two or three, but you've done done quite a lot of them there. Yeah, and I got the teapots again. Huh. Oh yeah, we've already been to that one. Um. Huh. What I might do is patch in one of my IT guys. Just make sure they're. Uh, oh, I've got. Elvis yeah. impersonators. That's new. Huh. Okay. Let me. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to patch in Mr. Scobie from the uh, IT department. He's a uh, very handsome, uh, very handsome colored gentleman. He might uh, probably be interested in this call. Let me just uh, see if he's available. Now, uh, how do I know you're actually from Adore Me, huh? Well, that's why we have the corporate verification system. But let me just uh, let me patch him in. Hold on one moment. Oh, hello, Scobie? Hello? Oh, looks like he picked up. Oh, you're breaking up a bit there, Scobie. Is that Scobie in the IT department? Who am I speaking to? Hi, Scobie. It's Ron in customer service. How are you doing? Wonderful. Wonderful. How can I help you, Ron? Uh, need a bit of help. Can you remote log into my terminal? Um, we've got a lady doing the AI verification system, and it's just, it's kind of going around in circles at the moment. Um, now I do, Absolutely. I do have to warn you, she's a bit of a hottie. We've just been, uh, <laughs> we've just been, uh, sizing her up for some of our, some of our items. She has great taste. And, uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's looking to order some items. She's working with a 38 eye cup. If you can believe it, so I knew that'd be right up your street because I knew you you also enjoy a voluptuous woman. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. I love to help go ahead and help. So, do you see my screen at the moment? It's just got the stairs on. Uh yes, yes. I'm looking at it now. Yes. Okay, and you should Whoa. you should see the beautiful lady there. Uh, there she is. Uh, hello there. Hi, hi. How you doing, ma'am? I'm doing fine. It's a little weird, I'm not lovely. gonna lie. How are you doing? You 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 are lovely. Oh my goodness. How can I help you out? Uh I mean I'm just trying to get through this thing and uh it's not working. What exactly is not working right now at the moment? Tell me what it, what exactly is not working now. The go verify thing. I just clicking and clicking and clicking on different pictures. Nothing's happening. Okay, take a moment. Just do me a favor. Can you hit the? Do you have a refresh, a re- refresh key there at the top? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and click that for me. Okay. Oh, now it's talking. Okay. To me. What? What? What are you showing the screen, man? AI identity verification, GAPTCHA systems, start verification, and some very sketchy sounding introduction sounds okay let me catch up to you give me one moment here how's your day going by the way fine 
Fine. Okay. Um, this is extremely creepy. You're very attractive. I, I have to yeah, say. Thank you. Yeah, if you uh, if you run to any, pro- I'll, I'll go ahead and get everything situated for you here. Just give me a couple minutes. If you run into any problems going forward in the future, I'd love to go ahead and provide you with my my personal number, if that's okay. This whole thing is getting real sketchy. Don't worry, ma'am. You, I'm, you- I'm here as well, just monitoring everything. Don't worry, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get this uh, sorted out. So, uh, is, is it asking just, you to I click? I don't have to do this. Is it asking you to click on the dog right now? No, I haven't started the. Ver- I, I'm still on the uh, splash down page or whatever okay. you call it. See the top three. Click the, the head, the middle area, and the bottom area of the dog. Click all three of those boxes for me. Okay, but I'm not. Could you? It could you? Now I see teapots. Okay. Could you could you go ahead and back up a couple of feet from me, just or a foot? Why? I, I just want to make sure that we get everything cleared here on, on my side. Okay. Just, if you, you can know, go ahead and do I, some- I I I'm gonna go now. Sorry. Bye. Is it okay if I'm I call right you? <laughs> Kobe, why would you clip her out? She willingly took oh. her shirt for him. <laughs> Made her take a well jumper done, off, though. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. I oh, so it's like, yeah. I want to take her fucking shirt off and fucking I just... Did, I did say at the start of the call, all calls are recorded and monitored and rebroadcast for entertainment purposes. And she just went, okay. 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 <laughs> she agreed. She was a willing participant. Yeah. She was... yeah. Wow. Well then, oh you're a my god! Oh my god! That might have to be cut out afterwards. <laughs> Is that how it went with Carpal the first time? Hey, like what? what are you doing? We, what are you working with uh, underneath? I'm gonna. I'm ba- basically that's how I roped in Carpal. Yeah. Ah, uh, there you go. That's exactly how it happened. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yeah. You're a lucky woman, Carpal. You're a very lucky woman. You don't know it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Karma thought that Ray really Daddy worked for uh, Popeyes for years before she found out the horrible Daddy truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The call that he gonna, did. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be kind and blur her out of the video. So that was a, that was a. You guys that caught it live got the best part there. At least. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, we'll just, we'll just blur, we'll just blur her all out on the video. <laughs> the, the entire so, lady. Yeah. So she doesn't sue, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Although I did, I did tell her she was being rebroadcast though. Yeah. I mean, you I don't think she understood what she was accepting by doing that though. Josh, thank you. Josh, thank you. <laughs> <sighs> hey, now she thinks a bunch of men were hitting on her, so she probably feels really good, right? Mm, probably creeped out at the end, I'd say. <laughs> or, or she's going to have a long shower. In fairness, yeah, probably. I don't think men were her thing. Uh, in fairness. I don't think so. I don't know, she was quite into me. In fairness, if you go to her mm-hmm. Twitter, right, she posts a lot of pictures of her boobs. Like, a lot. Yeah, but, like, but not with a bra on, you know? Uh, no, she does. <laughs> like, really? Like, oh, that, okay. like that one there. <laughs> like this one? Yeah. And no, that one. No more. There's actually, there's actually no. quite a lot of them. There's actually quite a lot of them. I'm not going to bring them up on it's the screen, not, but... I like the pussy, but not the rest. She... <laughs> <laughs> Lady. She, uh... She like what is it, Kobe? Does I exist? Is that a real size? Ah, uh, yeah, yes, it yeah, exists. it goes all I the way, exist. all the way through the alphabet, buddy. I is in as in I can't believe it. I can't G believe it. She has a godlike size. Yeah. <laughs> Gigantic. Yep. That's true. That's true. All right. Anyway, enough anyway. for that. Enough for that damn. How's your self. sex life? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, sir. Oh, it's in oh, the room. It's in the movie The Room. All the all the uh 130 meetings got cancelled due to intruders. <gasps> Welcome to the conference system. Terrible, terrible people. If you are the moderator, yeah. you are currently the only Yeah, see that one's given up. Given up completely. Welcome to the conference. You will now enter the conference. Better. Uh, 
Alright, alright, alright. It's time for me to get out of here. Do oh, we... no. oh, no. Yeah, go on, Ben. Yeah, go on, then. <laughs> so, uh... This week, we're doing a little supporter show on Wednesday. It'll be a very chilled-out show. Yeah. It'll be a very relaxed show. I'll yeah. mostly be sleeping. I might, I might make Ronnie do all the work on Wednesday. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're gonna do all the work, buddy. All of it. Uh... You know, well, you, you know, I'll be fucking working Friday and Saturday, right? <laughs> well, tough shit. You better not. You better, you better be there ready. Um, Mr. Trainwreck, I sent you some instructions, buddy. Yes, sir, and I will soon follow them. We need to do it this week. We need to do yes, it in sir. the next day or so, so, uh... Yes, I will um, do my best. Make sure you check your Discord messages. I'm going to be bugging you about it. <laughs> Me and Rod... Okay. If you follow those two steps, you've basically done the hardest bit, and then I'll just tell you what settings yeah. to put in, and then you'll be ready. And they don't like have... you're planning you're planning to stay with us for 24 hours or not? Not the entire 24. Cannot do it. But, no, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna have yeah, a little. I'll jump in and out and things like that. Yeah. We're gonna have a little uh, train wreck hour. Um, but yes, the Macronathon on Friday, 10 p.m. UK time, 5 p.m. Eastern, 24 hours of prank calls. It's happening again. We're, yes, ra we're raising money to help dogs this time. Mm -hmm. uh, we need everyone to give generously. We need lots of numbers. We still... Thank you to all the people that have been getting numbers, but um, we need a lot. Um, am I allowed to mention special guests, Hazel? We have any? We don't have any solid confirmation, do we? Keep it a surprise. No, we... We, we, we can't mention that because nothing's been confirmed yet. <clears throat> but uh, we're hoping... Stay tuned. We can't mention ones that aren't confirmed, and we don't want to mention ones that are confirmed because we don't want anyone ruining anything for us. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I'm gonna. We're gonna keep it to ourselves until, until it's all locked in at least. It's Chris Chan, by the way. <laughs> Tucker Carlson. Um, just uh, keep an eye on the social medias and the Discord alerts for that. Uh, obviously the Macronathon has to replace Friday's supporters show. We can't really do anything about that, but, uh, we are doing, I think, unle unless anything goes badly wrong, I'm going to do a little pre-Macronathon show for supporters. So, like an hour or two before the Macronathon starts, I'm going to be in the VIP room just preparing behind-the-scenes stuff. Might We're going to be masturbating. Jerking off together, yeah. You don't want to go in fully loaded. Oh. And uh, <laughs> fully loaded. Um, you got you got to be re released of stress. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All so the, clear all mind. Of, all of the Discord. If you want to come join on Discord for only five dollars a month, you can join us in our um, pre-show prayer for yep. the show. Um, that would be amazing. Yeah, we'll be doing a little uh, pre-show prayer time. You know. Uh, yes. But um. Yeah, so macronshow.com forward slash join. Make sure you're, uh... Make sure you're in for that. What else do I need to announce? What else? Oh, and also, um, please don't eat or make any purchases this week so that you have a lot of money Friday and Saturday. Yeah, bring your... <laughs> do not uh, eat. That's a good answer. Bring your money. We need it to help the show. We need it to help some uh, dogs. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I'm going to have a little yeah. donation target. Can I tell them about the wheel? Hey, Zola, could I? I could maybe show. Yeah, of course. I could show. Put it in the email. Should I show okay. them? Should I show them the wheel? Pre-show the, the wheel. Yeah. All right. Okay. I can pre-show. I can give you a little preview of one new feature of the Macronathon now. Uh, I didn't. Ew. I didn't have this prepared. Let me. Uh, let me hear. It's going to be called the Wheel of Misfortune, and it looks like this. Except it'll be, it'll be sized better. This is the Wheel of Misfortune. When you make That's a donation, cool. you get to spin the wheel, and then All when right. you when you spin it, wait a sec, wait a sec, get ready. You can spin the wheel like this, woo! And uh, it's gonna decide what kind of prank we do. For oh, that's cool. That's very cool. For example, scam the scammer just won, and okay. it makes a little noise. And there's probably gonna be some changes to it and stuff. But thanks to Hazel for. Uh, for making that. That is the Wheel of Misfortune. That's what we're going to be doing on the Macronathon is you make a donation, you spin the wheel, and you get to decide what kind of crazy shit we end up doing. Uh, I'll donate if we have a timeout train wreck on that wheel. Uh, <laughs> oh, original. We can, uh, we'll, if you have any... Also, you, 
You only get to spin the wheel if you made, not just if you make a donation. If you made the most donations that hour, you can spin the wheel. Oh, not everybody I'll, gets to spin the wheel. Yeah, Hazel, Hazel gets to basically make the rules with regard to the wheel, so I'm just going to be going along with it. Um, okay. We're going to be playing Craigslist Roulette. There's going to be a train wreck hour once he sorts his dialer out, which he's going to do straight after the show. Yeah. Um, yeah. And everyone cross your fingers and cocks that our special guests all confirm. And I even made the category of some sexy SCOBY calls. So who's not going to want to listen to those? Wait, did you say sexy SCOBY calls? Good. Do you oh, mean, I'm in on that. What do you think, okay. Banchode? SCOBY sexy single calls. Oh, the <laughs> Banchode's excited. You hear that? SCOBY not having all the fun Friday night. I'm joining in on that shit. But uh, yeah, we're gonna, there's going to be SCOBY sexual calls, the Wheel of Misfortune, Complainers Again. Out the Wazoo. Typing game. We'll play typing game. We'll definitely play to everything, basically. Everything. So come prepared with money. Come prepared with suggestions for what you want to see. Come prepared with questions. Come prepared for surprises. Or just show up. It's going to be amazing. We're going to try and top last year. I have some props arriving tomorrow. Amazing. I, um... Can I, can I tell Check you... Check out all, of, um, all the socials for the new poster that... Um, Ragman made, which is amazing. Yes, that's the one. Um, should I show everybody what I uh, what I bought for the hot stuff challenge? Because I know people. Uh... Yes. Oh God! I'll bring up a picture of it so I can show you. Uh, da, da, Why we da. didn't do a fucking dildo <clears throat> challenge? Is it the big gummy bear without sugar? No, I'm. I told you, I'm never doing that one. I know that. <laughs> I know that one. You mean that is never. Old school people know what it's about. Yeah, I know. That's not happening. Um, <laughs> For weeks after that, you're going to suffer. No, this is... Yeah, no, that's not happening. I have enough stomach problems without <laughs> inflicting that on myself. I have, however, got a bottle of this very expensive made by Stevo. Here you go. Here's a picture of it. Stevo's Butthole Destroyer, it's called. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, I had to order this in, especially from America. And uh, he does he does a couple of hot sauces, but this is the most crazy one that he does. This is Butthole Destroyer. So this has got uh, garlic, scorpion chilies, naga chilies, and Carolina Reapers. It's got all the worst ones all mixed up, and it's called Butthole Destroyer. So those that like donating to make me suffer, um, that should be arriving tomorrow, along with some of the other props. So... Uh, Shot, 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 that, shot. I'm not, I'm not going to do shots. Apparently it's fucking, <laughs> apparently it's like liquid fire. Apparently it's, it's like, like kissing the devil. Yeah, it's, it's bad. It's bad. You're going to see the dark side, but we oh, are. Oh shit, you do anything for money. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on. It depends how much money we're talking. If someone donates enough, I'll do a shot, but I am going to fucking shot. puke. We are going to make some chicken wings and put it on there, though. So, uh, yeah, Steve-O's Butthole Destroyer. I thought it was the the most appropriate thing I could get. Thank you to everyone that donated tonight. Anyway, tell all your friends about the Macronathon. Go and post uh, links to it. Actually, that's another thing I need to do this week. I need to... With YouTube, I think you can only stream for 12 hours at a time. So I'm going to do, like... 12 cut 12. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it into maybe three like last time just to be safe. Like mm. every eight eight hours or so we'll uh we'll switch over. But I'll post the Macronathon part one on uh on YouTube and then you can go share the links with people and tell them to be waiting. I thought you said when um Trainwreck was doing his part you weren't even gonna stream it. <laughs> Whoa! Is that just true, gonna, Hazel? Is that true? Just gonna make him say and talk to himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. We all, we all be sleeping at that time. So. Trainwreck, do you still have your old intro? I can't even remember what your intro music was, but do you still have it? Uh, I don't think so. I don't even remember it. I don't I remember. Any. I don't even know if you had <laughs> that's any. That's why. I'll just yeah, sing. Yeah, I think I, I played 20 minutes of music. Yeah, that's, and that was it. That was the way back in the day. Well, I'll uh, yeah. I'll sing the intro for you. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> All right. Get your sound clips ready for the end credits. Thank you very much for being here, everybody. You guys rock. And uh, make sure you join at macronshow.com forward slash join to get all the behind the scenes stuff. But otherwise, I will see you on Friday at the same time.
get ready to laugh <laughs> and cry and learn to love again. Trainwreck, what did you learn yes, today? Sir. What did you learn today? The true meaning of friendship. Oh. And what did you learn, Mr. Ron, today? Uh, I learned that just because someone has eye cup boobs doesn't make them attractive. <laughs> 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 oh, that's no. true. That's so true. <laughs> oh no. Alright, uh that's it from me. See you on Friday, guys. Be ready. See you on Friday. Be tight and ready. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Whoa. Oh, here they go. Alright, what was it? Two. One. We do not write our MC scans. I'm totally gonna accept my alcoholism. I could not stay sober. I'm totally gonna accept my alcoholism. I could not stay sober. And so now, um, 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 what in the world um, is this? Is hey, Ronald. Hey, Ronald. 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 What in the world is this? Ronald. 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 Thank you very much. So let me place you on a brief on this recorded call while I get the enrollment counselor and I'll be right back. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Ivan, sir. Thank you very much, Ivan, sir. How are you doing? You're fucked! Macron, thank you very much. Macron, thank you very much. I'm watching the bro. I learned so much. More than I'll ever know. Macron show that come for a thousand years, guys. A wonderful world. Hey, Ronald. Okay, I think that's all the lyrics we need. Fuck off, Kevin. Don't you ever get tired, go to sleep. Good night.